Hey, everybody, welcome to Noir Bar at long last, live from the shadiest district in Noir City in the year of our Lord, 1942. Come on in, grab a seat, get your drink orders in, and get comfortable for a late night, late back time of banter, booze, bods, and bullets. Joining me in the room behind the grandfather clock that Fart likes to call the godfather room for some reason. I here. didn't call it. I, I didn't call it that. That was you. <laughs> as far as it was me. I just laughed at it. How you doing, Far? Doing okay. Yeah. H how are you? Uh, lightheaded and woozy. I, uh huh. So you know, situation normal. I started a new medication uh -huh. for the vertigo. I was just chat. Mm -hmm. So I was telling. Uh, hold on, I should probably do an audio check before I just start yapping. Can anyone even hear us? Yeah. Testing. Ah, woo. Hello. Oh, you're much louder than I am. Am I? That's fine. I can I can adjust him, Kate. All right, adjust away, Mister Ottoman. What was I watching the other day, where I'm like, Buddy had his mic on, and the whole time, like you know, green, yellow, red, a level meter. You should be well in the green, most of the yellow, and just threatening to touch the red, but not. Buddy was just the thing was just lit up like it was broke. It was just green, yellow, red, the whole thing. The whole time he was talking, I was like, you know that? What the fuck? Who was I watching was doing that? I said, like, man, you got it. Like, I darn are. And he had a Sure 7B. So you've got a five, oh, na buddy. now with inflation, $600 mic and another $500 worth of fucking mixers and cables and shit to make the and cloud lifters to make the thing work. And you're doing that to it? like people that buy sports cars and then put the cheapest kind of gas that the gas station has in it or don't have money to fill the tank yeah so it just sits in the driveway mm -hmm. that's why this is my porsche i'm totally rich yeah and, and fancy and bullshit look at it what? <laughs> what? i totally forgot i did that like why is Scar? What, what the fuck was that? I was like, why is Scarface playing? I, I looked around to see if I had VLC player open because I've been on a Scarface kick lately. Yeah, it took me a second to realize what the fuck was happening there. Like, what the hell? You want to see it again, Far? It's awesome. I sh sure. All right. And I don't give a fuck about no witnesses. Witness this. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. You don't give a fuck about a witness. <laughs> witness this. Love that line. Witness so this. Yeah, I love that line so much. I thought I'd combine Holy shit. a Houston rapper from the 90s with Chang Yum Fat, Hong Kong film star. It makes no sense, but much like, you know, lo fi hip hop and uh, anime AMVs, it somehow works. Y yeah. Don't ask anyone to explain why. I don't get it, but it really works. You know, I, I don't know. Rotten Corpse, yeah, thank you do. very much for the five bucks. Glad to have you here. Uh, since OJ died, what's the difference between OJ and Christopher Reeve? OJ got to walk. Reeve got the chair. <laughs> get it? No, I really don't. Oh, yeah. Oh, shit. I'm going to have to Weebo Jones this for you then. Um, you know, it's dark enough that you'll still find it funny. So Christopher Reeves, guy who played Superman. Okay. All right. Big, strong, strapping man who's playing polo one day and tragically fell off his polo horse and fractured his neck and was paralyzed from the neck down. Oh. Well-known actor. Oh. Very active. He's Superman. You know. And now he's paralyzed yeah. in a wheelchair. And it's like, yo, that's rough. So that's what Christopher Reeve is. Oh. OJ is who he okay. is, right? A, a murderer got away with it. So it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. I, I know about OJ. <laughs> right, I right. still find it hilarious that he fucking dies, right? And you hear just on the, all these news outlets, right? Yeah, OJ Simpson died of cancer, but he was known to be a murderer who got away with the crime. What the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Basically. Basically, it's like, man, imagine you die, and then, like, that is, I mean, rightfully so, it's his reputation. Oh, yeah. But I that's mean, all you're known for. 
like, right? nothing else. Just, you like, yeah, he's dead. That's very sad. But he was a killer, you know. <laughs> Holy it's, shit, you case, fucked up. In you case you were unaware. Up. Yeah. <laughs> Man, I haven't heard that nightmare funeral in a while. Da, 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 da. Got him for Dingle. How's it going? Thank you very much for the $20. Polly, how are you doing, Otter? Hopefully this new medication helps with the vertigo. Glad the bar is open again. Godspeed, Otter. If you put a uh, regular in a sports car, well, you're a poly word. Yeah. And kind of stupid. A friend of mine, he's, he, he's never bought like a $200,000 sports car, but he has, as long as I've known him since high school, bought a regular car and then put performance parts in it himself. And he is the only guy I know that buys premium gasoline. And he, ex huh. he explained to me in highly technical means how it is that if you're not running high octane fuel, you will actually damage your engine. So yeah, if you're running regular gas in a sports car, you're fucking wrecking your car. But remember, the people that have those cars, they don't own them. Nine times. Oh yeah, they're renting them. Yeah, or leasing. You know, that kind of thing. There's some sort of yeah like it's not really theirs yeah you know who buys sports cars people who just won the lottery who don't realize that people who have sports cars don't buy them that's my call yeah that checks out yeah <laughs> why did the mexican take meds far i i don't know why why for his hispanic attacks Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Thank what? you, Rotten Corpse, for the $5. <laughs> Hi, Far. Hope you're doing well. I am doing very well. Thank you very much. <laughs> Flame Shadow Claw. They said in chat. It's just. Yeah. I, I, I'm seeing that. Oh. I'm seeing it. Boo. Uh, fucking boo. The, uh, so, yeah, uh, Sam has uh, suffered some non life threatening maladies as of late. And then people around him have, and the, the man needs a knight. And I agree. He, he really does. He, he needs a knight. So he's, uh, uh, told us with no notice that he was going to take a knight and we we're both. Yes. You know? Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's, we're not going to say what happened or what's going on. Cause it's, it's not really our place to say, yeah, honestly, but, but, but it's like, Take if heart, you know, it's, it's understandable. Life, yeah, it's nothing life-threatening or he's not, he's got all his limbs. Um, there's yeah. No, there's no dead Everyone prostitutes involved. Everyone has their limbs. You know, there's, there's no arms just floating down the canal, or at least nothing that's related to any of us. You know, it, it's it's fine. Yeah. It's just, yeah. Yeah, he, he obviously really um, Bro just needs a, knight. needs a knight. Yeah. Or two. Honestly, like maybe a bit more than just a knight, but he probably won't take that. There yeah, he is. look, there he is in chat. <laughs> yeah. Just not feeling especially funny. What? Yeah. SOP, just, come on like, in. It happens. <laughs> yeah, but it happens, though, you know? It just. What are you yeah, talking about? I hope you are. Uh, I'm reliable what? as all get out, and I'm here all the time, on time. If I uh -huh. can do it. <laughs> um, pay no attention to the missing Nawaba from last week or anything. No, not at all. Hmm. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's been a hell of a time. Part of it was, is, yeah. is, is the new medication that's, uh, uh it's, so far and I were talking about before we went live. Uh, all the drugs that they give you, they found out how they, what they did by giving them to a bunch of people thinking they did something else and then finding out through self-reporting that they did this other thing. So it was primarily a blood pressure medication. What, what I'm on. And so, yeah, it does lower blood pressure, blood pressure, but I don't have high blood pressure to begin with. So yeah, I'm a little lightheaded and I have learned over the past couple of days that holy shit. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 I, I haven't seen that in so long i forgot i even made it I've never seen that what the no fuck? no the, the, no. Sh the shooting box that's what i called it no. <laughs> that's me screaming 
the ah! that's I needed to scream, I couldn't find it, so yeah. Holy shit. <laughs> oh sad's like, wait, what? Yeah, is it supposed to be something else? I'm thinking It might be. I, I mean your streamlabs is a bit of a mess. It, it it is, and I had trouble logging into Streamlabs today. Um, oh. For some reason, I did a Windows update, and it logged me out of everything, and usually it doesn't log me out of Streamlabs. So I actually had to go find my password. And when I did, I typed it in, and it's like, wait a minute. There we go. Okay. Yeah, no, that that wasn't what was supposed to come up. So let's let us let us fix that. Uh, Oatsan, thank you for the six fifty. Which Christopher Walken is best? Christopher Walken, this one. Nobody's worth that much. He's good. Better than that. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> All's right with the world. Christopher Walken has a Tommy gun. He's willing to spray bullets over people's heads to prove an insignificant point you know right far hello uh -huh. right okay uh where the hell what, what was i talking about oh yeah i'm lightheaded as fuck and sort of absent-minded it's been a hell of a week i've missed all kinds of things i uh yeah 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 Missed meetings that I said yeah. I was going to be there for that were going to be like, oh, no. Yeah, like an hour away, too. I was on campus. Somebody came to my office and just said, Are you coming? I was like, Holy shit, man. Uh, it, luckily, when uh, uh, they popped their head on my door, I said the door wide open. I was just sitting there uh, typing. It, it's, yeah, it's not like I was goofing off or whatever. Uh, okay. Well, that's good at least. But holy I'm shit, drunk. man. So drunk. I cannot get up. <laughs> it's a green bottle. Call Jameson's. Yeah, exactly. That's why I get lightheaded. Uh, next six minutes. Hey, Sixy, how's it going? Uh, thank you for the two dollars and forty-two cents. Hey, man, how are you feeling, bro? Uh, like the floor of a New York cab. Uh, I haven't watched in the last few streams uh, with uh, Drunkle and Snoot. I hope those guys are well. They are. They are. Uh, we'll be publishing next month. So I've been busy with that. I hope you're well. Oh shit, it's Alan. Hold on. I got a sound for this guy. Oh, okay. Uh imagine the inception noise. Because it just didn't work. <laughs> oh, okay. Remember you gotta turn Stream Deck on before you join a voice chat or it won't work? Oh yeah. I forgot. Okay. Whoops. Yeah. Well done. Well, Alan, thank you very much for the $10. Greatly appreciate it. He simply says, Polly. Mm, Alan, how are you, sir? Uh, I hope better than I. Oh, shit. Why I made a list of uh, things that I wanted to talk about. Mm, do, 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 do. Holy shit, it's Festonia. Pistonia, thank you so much for the twenty dollars. Sending some love, Polly. Glad to have you back, dude. Got another drink recommendation beyond the Glenlivet. Uh, do you recommend dark wines at all? Dark wines. Um. Okay, this is this is this. Is, I'm gonna end up sounding like a like a like a Polly word here, and there's no way around it. When you say dark wines, do you mean like red wines, or do you mean like? really really dark red wines because there's really really light red wines far uh, what's your experience with wine in general like have you had more than two i don't like it now that i knew uh, but have you had more than like two glasses in your life or not really no no like there's not even a full glass it's just been sipped and i'm like yeah no i'm good thanks really yeah well okay so you yeah can, you i just can can't get past those sips there's a great varietal called Malbec, for example. It's really not supposed to be drank on its own. It's like Merlot. It's meant... It's, too bad Sam's not here. He could back me up on this. The, the, oh, no, the, he is. Hello, Sam. Yeah. Oh, there he is. Speak of the devil and you invite him in, Polly. You should know better. 
I was about to start talking about right and left bank Bordeaux. And Sam shows up. <laughs> yeah, don't get it wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everybody. How you feeling, man? Hello. Don't make me lie to you, Polly. <laughs> nah, I'm all right. Yeah? I'm hey. laid. What's that? I feel laid. You feel like you've been laid? No, I feel late. Oh, late? Yeah. It's Welcome to my world. That, how do you live like this, Polly? It's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's not disgusting at this point. it's it's inspired sam it, it you, you move when the spirit moves you you know i was saying okay or somebody sticks their head in your office and says are you coming it, it that that's also the spirit moving you. uh fastidious yeah, is I've uh, been in a movie like that <laughs> you've had malbec's it's like sam you know a malbec it's the it's black like when you look at the, it's so dark red, it's black. It's like my video. Yeah, very much so. Yeah. Fortunately, Malbec does not last me six hours. Yeah, you're walking away with purple lips and a purple teeth and so on. And then there's mm. my favorite reds, which are Pinot Noir, um, fantastic grape, and Sangiovese, um, the primary grape in what? Um, Chianti. Do it just the <laughs> it, it, Malbecs are supposed to go with uh, steaks. They can't. Anything dark red, you you shouldn't go with the two I just named, like a Chianti, a Sangiovese, or a Pinot Noir. Yeah, those are for if you really want a red and uh, you're eating a white meat, that's the big trick to knowing what meat pairs with what wine. Match the color. Like if it's a white meat, white wine, generally speaking. But if you still want a red, go with a very light wine. So with turkey and um, uh, more substantial fish, go with a Pinot Noir. You can't go yeah. wrong with Pinot Noir. It's just the greatest grape, man. It's so good. A good amount of ladies and gentlemen know that, you know, Pinot Grigio is a pretty good staple of the whites. I... I don't, I, I got no problems with Pinot Grigio, none, okay? Mm. But like so many other things in life, I like like things to be very much themselves. You know, it's like, uh, oh, it's a semi-sweet. Look, either be sweet or be dry. Don't middle. That's my call. <laughs> oh, uh, uh, real quick. Thank you, Ron Cops, for the $5. Says, uh, you feel late, so who do you think the father is, lol? Hmm. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> well, it ain't me, and I don't care what that bitch says. <laughs> I said, hey, Kefki. What? How you doing, Keffers? How's things? What you up to? How's Lodi? <laughs> there you go. That's some... some... Yeah, so I'll tell you that. So, fish in a Pinot Noir definitely works but make sure it's a more substantial fish it's a really light delicate fish like a trout or something like that it's just gonna overpower it it's swordfish are broke guys there you go <laughs> it's not something that's like a, a heavy duty fish you know there you go malbec i think is too much for it's a blending grape my god it's supposed to bring tannins and esters to a, a good blend not drink it on your own, turn your teeth purple. People are crazy. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. These two. <laughs> damn it, Pantera, this bear's warm. Oh, damn it, Pantera, this beer's warm. Like Pantera, <laughs> like the hair metal band? I'm lost. I, Who I, are you? I can only assume so. What? I can only assume so. <laughs> like if it was Pantera and bears, I, I was like, what, Jungle Book? What? There's a character in Jungle Book named Pantera? What? No. No, no. Um, Bagheera, he's a panther, right? Pantera, Pantera. There's a panther in Jungle Book? What? Yes. 
I'm I never, so fucking lost. I've never seen it. I mean, you could tell me anything about I've Disney. Seen, I like, what the fuck, Sam? I mean, far you know, I've only seen two Disney films, right? Uh, Robin Hood and The Great Mouse Detective. That's it. Yeah, which is a weird two choices for movies, I gotta say. I adored Robin Hood as a kid, and I'm a huge Sherlock fan, and I didn't even know The Great Mouse Detective existed. When I found out it did, I watched it on YouTube, and I loved it. It was great. What a what a, what what a fun film. But I watch it. It only really came up in Discovery. <laughs> I watched a um, like I've never seen Aladdin, right? But I have seen a live action musical comedy performance poking fun at Aladdin that Weibo wanted to watch, so we watched that. It was her turn to pick, and that's what we went with. Aladdin is like this thirty-five year old broke don't want to work scheming on the 16 year old princess dirtbag what the fuck it's it's for comedy or comedy yeah no as i get that to, but just no. as okay. opposed to the fucking court wizard who is like you know jafar the 45 year old scheming dude who don't yes. want to work with designs yeah, on the 16 already, year old uh, princess like guys yeah, you already exists. have the creepy guy you don't need to make another one wait i like, I know the character Jafar. Like, I've seen all of the characters here and there. And Jafar's character design is great. He's He was creeping on uh, Jasmine? Yes. Oh, yeah. Really? I didn't know yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Um, Does he want to, like, take over the kingdom by marrying her or something? Yes. Absolutely. Oh, well, she's incidental then, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Her princess yeah, uh... in, a, in, a, in a Save the Princess story is incidental. Ooh. Yeah, but then there's That's... a certain, you know, uh, costume she wears that she, he makes her wear, remember? That very demure Islamic outfit that she has on, yes. Mm-hmm, yes, mm -hmm. totally. Well, I mean, it's not like she's, it's not like it's a bikini, she's just showing her midriff, isn't she? Um, midriff, shoulders, shoulders. Feet. There's another, there, there is another Hat. one. It, besides the, you know, the basic one she wears at the end of that movie. Really? That's like, yeah. Yeah. It's all red. I'm pretty sure if I remember correctly. So what are you trying to say? She's got desert lingerie on at the end of the movie? Kind of. I mean, to be totally honest with you, it's not all that much more revealing than... It's than, really than not, but affair. it's still... But it's still, like, there's a different feel to it, though. You have yeah. to admit like, there is a bit of a different feel to that one. Yeah, like, well, it's red. It is. So it's clear what they were doing. It is. Right. Okay. Um, so yeah, damn it, Pantera. This beer's warm. Thank you for the three bucks. Uh, best Christopher Walken is him getting ambushed and filled with more holes than Sonny Corleone from Heaven's Gate. Yeah, <laughs> Heaven's Gate. <laughs> this is the only show on the internet where people keep bringing up Heaven's Gate, and I'm not opposed. I've seen it, and I, <laughs> I, I, I kind of like it a little bit because I'm weird. Um, and I, I like uh, Michael Camino as, as a director, it, but I'm just vibing off a of Deer Hunter. That's why. But anyway, and Polly, yeah, if you were opposed, it's not like you could say that you were opposed because this is the internet, and we know what happens when people say that they're opposed to things on the internet. <laughs> wow, well, it it'll haunt them forever. But this is also the internet where nobody likes anything. Like, every True. movie sucks. True. Well, except for like this small little spate of you know, anime and action films they watch, or whatever their particular taste is. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Yeah, he Heaven's Gate is. Uh, I can understand why you haven't seen it. It's uh, if you haven't, I mean, it's like three hours and twenty minutes, and then the director's cut came out. <laughs> Imagine directing a movie that was so long and insane that you actually bankrupted a studio over it. <laughs> we mean like Rings of Power. Yeah. I don't... People try and blame him for the rise of the studio system and the 80s Hollywood blockbusters and no more Artur filmmaking, basically. He was the last Artur director because ain't no studio ever going to trust some, uh, you know, a, a film student with a big budget ever again because you destroyed our fucking studio, man. Yeah, but it was inevitable. Exactly. 
that's my call the moment, is that it's it, the, the, he didn't really make it happen he was just a great example for them to point at to do what the fuck they were going to do anyway right ever since ever since cinematography stopped being so much art and more be and became more of a product to sell to the masses it, w it became inevitable at that point it was going to happen yeah who was that? We were just talking about like our tour shit or someone brings up our tour. I flash back to when Martin Scorsese said um, MCU movies are not, or superhero films he was talking about in general. He said they're not cinema. They're more like theme parks and carnival rides. I, I'm a huge Martin Scorsese fan. Big, big Martin Scorsese fan. And I also like superhero movies because I'm a big comic book guy. He wasn't wrong. Why do you find it insulting? He was right. Are you trying to say it's not a good superhero film? It's not like a roller coaster ride? That's what he meant. Buy the t-shirt, you know, blah, blah. Yeah. All the merch that comes along with it. Now, I don't buy the fucking merch, but I'm certainly aware that it's out there. It's part of it. The, 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 the Happy Meal with the Captain America toy in it and the, you know, all that shit. Well, I mean... That's how superhero movies got their start, though. Really, wasn't it? It's like <laughs> part of the a part of the merchandise. Yeah, you're gonna it run a budget that something. high. You got to recoup your losses somehow. And I mean, those executives do need their multi million dollar payouts for doing very little. And yeah, that no, was um Heaven's Gate, like as in the cult. No, <laughs> I mean honestly, I didn't even know you were talking about a movie. For a while there, so I'm just going, yeah, like the cult, right? Right? <laughs> like, I just it's so fucking lost, and I'm like, I don't know what the fuck to do. Anthem Ward brings up a good point in chat. Bankrupted Studios, do you ever hear of the, do you ever hear the backstory of the original Dune? I no. actually have, like, only like, like De Laurentiis and how it ended up in the hands of who it did and the different writers that it passed through. But it did it bankrupt the studio or like that? That was a question. It did, it did cost an awful lot, from what I understand. To me, it only serves one purpose, really. Um, it demonstrates that that Patrick Stewart was born an old man. It's <laughs> <laughs> so, like 1981. Born bold, he remained bold. Yeah, <laughs> just forever. Hey, uh -uh. You know, if you want to see a non-bold Patrick Stewart, you got to go back and catch like really, really old like bootleg recordings of like his stage work. Way back, way back when. <laughs> yeah, I. That's when a wig God were very much a lad. <laughs> He, um... Sam, that, that was a wig. Can't you tell? <laughs> He's never had hair. He's always been bold. <laughs> Maybe he's born with it. Maybe it's Maybelline. <laughs> 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 I'm actually willing to accept that he... So I was uh, uh, fucking around doing some stuff last night and I put a movie on in Discord, uh, Quick and the Dead from 1995. Mm -hmm. Um... Sharon Stone, Leonardo DiCaprio, Gene Hackman, etc. Right, uh, Sam Raimi Western. Uh, no, it's not a serious Western, but it's a big gang of fun, though. Anyway, uh, Valina and I started cracking jokes. Like we got the same view of Leonardo DiCaprio. He was fourteen forever, and that one day became a thirty-five-year-old man and filmed Blood Diamond. <laughs> now I'm willing to accept that's what happened to Patrick Stewart. He was just young man with hair. And then all of a sudden, bang, he was Jean-Luc Picard when he woke up. Yeah, okay. and then he graduated. Well, okay. Um, Polly, the real question now is, though, so we have the Hanging with Leo tape, right? Yes. Hanging with Patrick? Uh. Hanging with Patty? Uh, uh, nah, I don't want to see that. Oof. <laughs> what, you don't want to see? You don't want to see them cutting a hole in a changing tent on a beach to film Patrick Stewart <laughs> fucking around on a beach? Jesus. Out of shape? <laughs> you know, Patrick Stewart is, is one of, like, two Patricks that immediately come to mind that are, you know... <laughs> they are very much not Paddy. 
They never have been, Paddy. The Patrick or Pat. <laughs> you know what I mean? Dune was 84, <laughs> really. I thought it was 81. What? Yeah. It puts it puts some nice distance between uh, Blade Runner and uh, the aforementioned Heaven's Gate, both of which came out in 81. Is that where the Heaven's Gate cult got their name? No, you know where they got their name from. From their no, really, I know. Their really bad interpretation of uh, Revelation. Remember, we oh, are the yeah, lamps. The fucking lunatics. I... <laughs> there are four lamps. <laughs> <laughs> no, there were only two. And then there was only one. And he didn't know what he was doing. And then he cut his nuts off. I... Yeah, <laughs> and got other people to cut their nuts off. And Well, they want to be left behind. One. Left behind. See what I did there? <laughs> <laughs> That's a bunch of nut jobs, huh? You're right? Uh-huh. It no, Heaven's Gate is a really, really long Western. It's supposed to be a, a Western. Not really, though. It's uh, So there's a, an actual historical incident, the Johnson County Wars, where there's there's a bunch of settlers moving out, and the people that already own land there don't want the settlers coming there and devaluing their property. And one thing leads to another, and people start rustling cattle, blah, 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 blah. It's it's a great frontier story. And that movie is loosely based in and around those events. Uh, but it's Michael Camino. Uh, so he, he does Deer Hunter, and it, it's a movie about the trauma of war. Okay, so you've been watching this film, right? For half an hour. They're still at a wedding that started the movie. The movie starts at a wedding ceremony. Half an hour later, I wanted that cake. they're still drunk at four o'clock in the morning at the wedding after party. <laughs> and then they're in Vietnam. Like hard yeah, cut, the they're in Vietnam. Because like Camino's like, if you don't show people, you know, interrelating, you won't care what happens to them. And he took that to an insane extreme. Yeah. yeah I so, mean, uh, not, did, not did you hear that donation go off at all? I did. I, I I do okay. want that cake, but I'm really more partial to donuts lately. <laughs> Thank you, Dollar Do. Is this good news for the three dollars? Patrick Stewart is best friends with Brian Blessed. Uh, uh, okay. I, I, Brian, Brian, Blessed. A... Uh, Brian Blessed. Brian Blessed. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, yes. Brian Blessed. Brian. I I mean I don't. You ever see Flash Gordon? No. No. Oh. No. Like the original 1930 no, serials no I have. Idea yeah. What's going on? I'm not going to lie. I'm so fucking lost in this whole conversation. What year I'm did they remake like, Flash Gordon in? Oh, God. What was it? The 70s, was it? Late 70s? Early oh, 80s? okay. I thought you meant some kind of Netflix abomination. Uh, well, I, I think Netflix did do an abomination on, on Flash Gordon. I, I don't know. I didn't pay it that much attention. But no. Uh, Brian, Bl Brian Blessed is a, is a stage actor who is. He's definitely not six feet tall, but he lists himself as six feet tall on the, on his resume. He's he he's a he's a, a, a yeah a stage actor with a very very big voice. Huh? Yes. Yeah. He uh. <laughs> there's a video I'll I'll have to show you later uh, of him um playing uh Henry the Eighth, but uh transported to the modern era. Uh, and uh, the, in the clip, the, the clip that he's probably most well known for him in modern times is him just turning over, you know, looking over his shoulder and you know, shouting at this woman that he's in this room with, uh, uh, are you retarded? <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> oh <my laughs> yeah, God. that sounds like it was made to meme. Holy shit. Oh, oh very much so. <laughs> very much so. I, I can do a passable impression of it, but uh, it's loud, so I won't. <laughs> Holy shit. Uh, Rotten Corpse mentions a movie I actually just made a note of. A zombie western called Bullets for the Dead. It's a zombie western with a Romero feel. I'm down. I'll check it out. You know it's a movie that has no right being good, but actually is pretty good? Cowboys and Aliens. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's called... I mean, Fart, right? Like, it's called Cowboys and Aliens. Are you fucking kidding That's me? That's some... Yeah, that sounds um, that sounds like some Abraham Lincoln vampire hunter bullshit. Uh, no. Oh. But I hear you. Like, you know, why wouldn't you yeah. assume that, right? Daniel Craig is the star. You know, James Bond. 
He's playing a Brit. What the fuck is he doing there? It it just it's weird. It's it it works. It's worth watching. It's it's a fun movie and it's not done cheesy. Somehow they end up playing it serious. It's very strange. Mm. Uh, huh. Eric Eric Grindsetter says apparently uh, uh, Brian Blessed uh, was the voice of Boss Ness in the prequel trilogy. The Boss Ness. Boss uh, Boss Ness. What's N-A-S. that? N-A-S. You mean the the head frog king? Yeah. Oh, okay. Right. I, if I'm reading that right, I, I don't remember very frogs. much of the of the prequels. I'm, I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, I mean, I had no idea he had a name. Mm-hmm. I mean, they, d- d- doesn't uh, uh, want to pull his eyeballs off his head? What's his name? Charger Banks. Doesn't uh, oh he just calls him Big Boss Man or something like that the whole time, doesn't he? I, I genuinely do not remember. <laughs> I, I I think every time I've watched the prequels, I I have been, you know, moderately I, inebriated. Yeah. Remember the I drunk uh, and all both. Remember the big fat guy whose pants were falling off his ass. He ran the fucking inexplicable diner in a galaxy far, far away. A fifties diner. Oh, vaguely, very vaguely. Dexter Jetster. <laughs> Holy shit. Lucas. I Was that around the time of the Jizz Whalers? No, that was long after the Jizz Whalers. The Jizz oh, Whalers sorry. were firmly established. They had been whaling for years. <clears throat> Fucking poor Lucas. I can't imagine I if I ever boomer that hard. Holy shit. What are the odds? Do you want us to? Do you want us to just take you out back if that ever happens to you? I, well, I'd like to be warned. See, this is why you <laughs> actually pass your ideas by other people. They say, "Well, it's a galaxy yeah. far, far away, so they don't play jazz; they play jizz." <laughs> and that—that's when you like, you know. Yeah, honestly, George, one of the George, most valuable you know. things. <laughs> one of the most valuable things I ever learned um, during the t- the uh, art thing at TAFE, right? Yeah, it. You want to bounce your ideas off other people, you know, Do- like, like, hey, does this look okay? No, yeah. it, you need to fix this, this, and this. It's shit you would never know if you just did it all on your own, right? Yeah. So you just continue on with the same mistakes over and over and over again. Yeah, and everyone Always. laughs at you, right? Because you're an idiot. This, this is why, though, you you absolutely should bounce your ideas off of other people. Mm-hmm. Preferably people that have nothing to do with the product you are creating. Yeah. Always have other people check over jizz for you. <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh, I fuck, I didn't realize it. This motherfucker's got four arms. <laughs> We've all got four arms, Polly. <laughs> Shut the fuck up, Sam. <laughs> this guy, I, I know you've just had some uh you know, issues happening IRL, but shut the fuck up, Sam. <laughs> you see, chat, this is the sympathy I get. <laughs> oh, no, I have sympathy. Just, you know, it, it diminishes whenever you pull that bullshit. <laughs> what, speaking? I see how it is. <laughs> no, making shitty puns. No. You just wait till next month. Valine's gonna get it. What? Okay. Yeah, shitty what? puns. Shitty puns. It's coming. Have you hatched a plot? I... What the fuck are you talking about? Oh, I absolutely yeah, have. What are you talking about? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, spoil it. People just have to tune in next month. That's not titillating. I... That's just baffling. Yeah, that's just... Yeah. <laughs> I'm just confused and unsettled. Good. Good. <clears throat> no, that's not good, Sam. That's that's <laughs> terrible content. Oh fuck, <laughs> Mentrix. I apologize. Uh, Fifteen minutes ago. Thank you very much for the ten dollars. Let's just play that again. There we go. Come on, who's complaining? No one's complaining. Fat broads can't fit into them tiny little shorts. That's who's complaining. Which was Jessica Alba. She had to go on a huge diet to play this role again. That's what happens when you make movies nine years apart. 
I mean, she had two kids in the meantime. Cut her break. Jesus fart. Oh, no, she had to lose say 10 pounds. shit. I know. <laughs> this is what happens when you go away for too long. You only talk to me once a week. You're going to get, like, concentrated blasts of me being a poly word. Not, yeah. You could come around a little bit more often, and then, you know, it would be spread out a little bit more. Ten hour days! What's that? Ten hour days, Oh, Polly. oh, oh. <clears throat> I don't really have much of a choice. Yeah, but ten hour days, but the uh, 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 12 hour difference in the clocks. So there's, there's, there's time. Like, remember, I'm on a reverse schedule, so there's, there's got to be some kind of time. I... Metrics, thank you very much for the $10. The best wine comes in a bag that you also get. And you also get a nice pillow, so you can pass out on it. See, this is thinking. That's officer level thinking right there. I never really thought about using a goon bag as a water pillow. Wait a minute. I don't even know if that would be comfortable. Water beds are Does a thing. Why it? weren't water pillows ever a thing? I mean, people in the 70s were retarded. They'd do anything. It was, you know, lava lampy, you know. I... What are the logistics behind water pillows compared to water mattresses? <laughs> uh, less you'd complexity? Have that, like, you'd have to have that thicker, wouldn't you? Than like your regular pillow? Yeah, it'd be rectangular. And? I just don't I mean, think that would be, have to be that comfortable. No, it wouldn't be comfortable at all, but it would match the waterbed, which isn't comfortable at all. You know what happens when you roll over in a waterbed? <laughs> no, I don't. You fall know. off. I well, I didn't, but which is saying something, I, <laughs> right? <laughs> I'm just, I'm just thinking. Maybe we should get in the waterbed. Yeah. No, I didn't. yeah. Maybe we should invest in a waterbed for Polly, <laughs> so he doesn't fall off his bed and get trapped. <laughs> you literally make waves whenever you move around on a waterbed, and it takes a good five plus minutes for it to stop it's like uh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> that God. sounds like a <laughs> with a <laughs> chick you know <laughs> making waves ride the wave yeah i hear you say not <laughs> here let me show you guys something i was showing far this for one live <clears throat> now i know i've got a first class ball busting coming my way for this and that's fine that's fine probably deserve it uh, I know I have a lot captured somewhere. There we go. Um, so Sam, remember when I promised a Nixie clock? Yes. Behold, the time has come. Like, yes, it. pretty sweet. I'm that is pretty sweet. It's my, it's not finished. This is my proof of concept that I could actually get the damn thing to work, and there it is. Mm -hmm. It's on a, a full 12 hour rotation. So I can, I can have nice. it count up, count down, whatever the fuck. It's separate from it. Is that a. What? Is that a Vault Tech logo on the front of that? That looks like the Vault Tech logo. What's a Vault Tech? Uh, the Fallout universe. The company responsible oh. for so much. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, that that is. I don't think it is exactly the vault Tech logo but that looks damn close hold on let me let me pull up a, pull up a picture here i'll send it to you Polly. all right here you go <laughs> thank you for lean for the five dollars she says what does a gay horse say hey <laughs> oh my fucking god <laughs> Cease. <laughs> I don't believe gay horses can talk any more than regular horses, Willine. Really, but, you know, if they could, they probably would. Uh, I find the idea of a gay horse uh, eerie somehow. Yeah, no, it, lo <laughs> it looks like the vault Tech logo. Really I, does, doesn't it? I really and should it have uh, removed that front piece and not spent so much time putting the brass corner pieces on it or the brass fixtures on top where the tubes are. Oh, you man. You put the poly word on front of it, Polly. But, yeah, like I said, it's not finished. It's going to be 
uh, and otter design as far knows. I was telling her about what's, what it's going to look like when it's finished. Um, like I said, this is the proof of concept for the numbers and that it could be a separate piece from its background so I can put it up on things. So you might be wondering why, you know, who, who cares about a, a, a Nixie clock? What is your point? Well, <clears throat> it's going to be it's the fucking cool. But yeah. What more point do you need? Yeah. It's got, it's got vacuum tubes and glowing numbers and shit. And it makes me think of Doc Brown. But. Great Scott. It's a, it, it's going to be a countdown for the start of the show, which means I'm going to actually have to start the show on time because there's going to be a timer. <laughs> and and I, I know I'm not exactly uh, <laughs> rolling around in surplus credibility on this issue, but still it's, uh, Polly, you do you do realize we have like actual clocks that tick down to the start of the show, right? What do you mean? Like like, like you know, regular clocks that we can look at that tell us the time. Yeah, but Chad can't see them. They have eyes. I'm sure they have clocks. This is what we call a a flourish, Sam. I guess maybe you'll have to kill me. <laughs> No, that's a flourish. <laughs> yes. <laughs> what the fuck? What's his name again? It's um Johnny John Inston. It's um Patrick Kilpatrick. <laughs> the actor. <laughs> oh, I got so many things open. Game of Valine, thank you very much for the A50. <clears throat> Don't be a frog. They leap to conclusions. Try the veal. What the fuck? <laughs> Far, they're both white meat. Mm. Well, if you buy low quality veal, it's pink, but you know. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever had veal far? No. Don't like the idea of eating a baby cow? I. No, I just do, never do, had do, it. Do, do, do. <laughs> I have got to talk to some people how they run streams. Because I, 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 I don't know what I'm doing. There's far, far I don't so get anyone does. Well, yeah. I was gonna say don't, don't look at me. Neither do I. <laughs> I was talking to Reaper, or well, Reaper was there when I was saying it's like, you know, I really got to fucking get my shit in order. You think I'd know how to do this stuff? It's mostly a question of like, well, I know what I'm doing. It's just the real estate. I need everything up on the screen at the same time. And I don't think I'm making as efficient use I can as I can of my screen space. And I refuse to go the Weibo Jones route with, you know, a bank of monitors. So I am sitting in a virtual cockpit when I have no interest in <laughs> flight simulators. Okay, yeah. but what if we made it look like a Star Trek console? Stam, look, stop tempting me and distracting me. I... <laughs> <laughs> But Polly, it's him. so easy. Yeah. I saw Bryce and Chad. He's Sam. a he's a Trek nerd. He, he'll understand. Of course, when I got my fucking uh, tablet, I went and installed System Forty Seven. The L cars. It looks like the tr the computers during the twenty fourth century on Star Trek. The L cars computer system. <laughs> it's a pad, man. They had pads on Star Trek for we had tablets. It's only right. <laughs> judge me uh, man is this what it's like to not be the biggest nerd in the room this is I, I weird is, dude yeah i know right I, it, weird man al pacino is judging you sam i it's, don't think it's me he's judging no no it it, no. it is it is i got hated on earlier today for star trek and it's like i'm trying to tell you really? guys it's not a show it's a cultural phenomenon it's not my fault you can't fucking hang I do 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 Phenomenon. <laughs> <laughs> nice out, Sam. And she's got a big ass, and you got your head <laughs> all up in it. <laughs> now that's a funny clip. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, the way Pacino plays Vincent Hanna with the freaking out on people just. <laughs> 
So this is heat we're talking about far, and that's where that that you know Al Pacino's judging you face is coming from, right? It he's playing Detective Vincent Hanna, and he has all these informers. Uh, people that feed him information, blah, 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 bookies, criminals, you name it, uh, bail bondsmen. Because Ooh. maybe you'll have to kill me. <laughs> it's my theory that all donations should start with a sound. They shouldn't just happen. Because you're going to end up like, there should be a doof, a sound, a something a, 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 to notify you that, that a notification's happening. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you get this, doom. that's not the easy, yeah. that's not the easiest thing to find. Man, I've got like a bank of sound effects that are fucking building up. All of, when he's hitting the street and shit, as he's falling back, those are um, people, scuffling noises. Man, I take that shit too far. Gamerblain, thanks for the 850. No, we can't do Trek. You gave me uh, shit on uh, one comment, and I looked it up to find out it's related to Trek. It's not about your bromance with a baguette. That was a slight of you, it, Sam. Was it really? Mm -hmm. Was it really? Mm -hmm. I, I, I barely even noticed it. It's all the way down there, Paula, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's tough to hear. Got to get one of them ear horns. This is the 40s. Yeah. We don't have, you know, hearing aids yet. So yeah, far, I think that would be part of the movie that you'd like the most, is Vincent Hanna interacting with his informants. It's, it's So why didn't you call me last night? Where the fuck were you? I've been paging all day. I can't stand fucking paging. He goes, well, look, I was busy. I was out there. He goes, did you fall in love? Is that what happened? Tell me, tell me that. Tell me something good. Tell me you fell in love. You went out. You met a girl. <laughs> it's, it's, it's all nonsense talk just to knock the guy off, keep him ill at ease. You never know what he's going to do. And out of nowhere, he grabs the edge of the table and says, Give me all you got! Give me everything you have! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. It's a brilliant interrogation tactic. Yeah. I love it. Did you fall in love? Tell me you fell in love. And he's kind of got like this fake smile on his face. It's it's great. It's really something that, to watch. People who can pull that incredibly kind of... unhinged. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, he's actually not, but he wants all of his informants to think that he is. That uh, I will fucking send. You're on parole. I will fucking send you back to jail for the rest of your fucking term right now. I will send you, know? you to Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Or I'll fucking kill you. You know. You, you never know. That's the idea. Otherwise, they'll hold on to all the information. Why hand over information? They're already free. They're already out of jail. Just because some detective shows up at your fucking place of business, you're going to start spilling the beans? Uh, not unless he fucking gives you a reason. And Vincent Hanna gives him plenty of fucking reason. And it's also important to remember, he's a cokehead. So. <laughs> it helps. So he is unhinged. Yeah. He. He's a... Uh, uh, a serial abuser of, um, not Dax, uh, the multi-drug ADHD, Ritalin. He's an abuser of Ritalin and cocaine. Oh, tell Helps me. Stay sharp. It, it, out there on the edge, where he needs to be. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's not about making the client money. <laughs> it's the, the one good line that his wife actually had. She's Michael Mann's a good writer, but he didn't write his wife very well. She's more like this obnoxious, nagging woman. I, I'll be over here. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Look, she. I, I take that back. She has two really good lines. Um, I told you, baby, that when we hooked up, you'd have to share me with every disgusting, horrible thing that happens in this big putrid city. Because he's never around, that kind of thing. Because he's always out there on the job. And she goes, and I bought into that sharing, but this is not sharing. This is leftovers. Ouch. Good line. <laughs> that is a pretty good line. Yeah. And she goes, let me tell you something. All them pills you pop, all that stuff that you shove up your nose, Vincent, you think that it keeps your instinct sharper. That's not instinct. It's self-immolation. 
And then she just slams the door in his face. It's like, ooh. I mean, is she wrong? He's literally burning himself out. The guy's going to have a heart attack and die one day. No, no, it's a, it's, it's a solid line, but also shut up. <laughs> <laughs> You're a woman. What do you know? Uh, damn, does this look like photograph? Kind of? I sure as fuck thought both. it was. Apparently it's from an animu. No, I could buy it. The 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 the, the grade of lighting on on the back of it there. That's uh Yeah, that's not natural, is it? Oh. Oh San immediately calls it in chat. Did he? Where Steinsgate, look at that. Nice. Yeah, yeah. You got it. There's a yeah. There's a reason when you sent it, I was like, "Hold on, let me pull this up in my browser." Chat's gonna want to see this. There's gonna be somebody who's gonna recognize the Nixie tubes and the animu that it's from. I dig the way it looks, man. I love the uh, DIYness of it. It looks like you, the parts were bought from an electronic store. Mm -hmm. Because it was, they were. Yeah, they absolutely cool. fucking were. <laughs> yeah. Cool. I can dig it. Very Doc Brown. I mean, look at the capacitors was... just sticking out of the top of the breadboard. They didn't even bother to cover them. I hear you. I was looking at it going like, okay, so this is being looked at from behind, right? Because, you know, this is this is actually, you know, nine minutes and four seconds past one in the afternoon, right? No, no, no that guy, no, it's not. It can't be. Explain the what it does no, again, Far. It, it tracks so, light lines? Because, or... So, the whole thing, like, world lines. So, like, world the whole lines. thing with Science Gate, right? It's, um, it's time travel. It's it's just time travel oh, shenanigans. Yeah, it is. It is the same, but not the same so as what? Only one guy kind of, you know, it's the same as like you know what we do here, but not. Oh. Because it's all just one guy remembering what happens in each of the timelines, and this is the only way he has to know which timeline he's on. Oh wow. Because uh, in every single different line, it's a it's a different number. And it's just the divergence of how far away from, like, <laughs> how far away from, like, the original timeline he is, basically. Is he on some Sam Beckett quantum leap trying to get back to his own timeline? Kind of. It's... He's trying to stop, like, someone from dying. And the further away he gets from it, like, the more it just... Like, it just turns into chaos like he can't really control anything hmm. so with every little change it, it it diverts in a way Japanese are the least lacking in imagination people ever I... oh, Steins Gate is fantastic absolutely fantastic it, it is one I would actually recommend to you unironically are you sure there's not going to be any, like, yes. the creepy nightmare fuel in it out of nowhere. I mean... Is anyone is rapey? A preponderance? Um, is, is there a preponderance of tentacles and schoolgirls, or are we good? Not, no, not tentacles and I mean, schoolgirls only technically, but that's not like a... No, no. I mean, not, fine no, by themselves. Like thinking. not everybody's down for every kind of bubble. drama over and over again. I get that people wouldn't like the, how many movies can you watch that are about someone's revenge? And I'm like, a lot. At any rate, that is what we're going to try to do. And I mean, like, a lot. It's it, it, it's half the reason that anybody does anything in a noir film. But I I can understand why that wouldn't, wouldn't fuel you. Me? Anime? No offense to anyone. I am some sick of the fucking rapiness. I, every fucking, just, it's just incessant. And yeah, okay, it's a good drama device. I get it. Assault, threat. It also, uh, but it's just it, fucking... It's really dependent on the ones you're watching, Polly. Like, holy shit. You know where... Hey, 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 you've watched enough really? animals. You know what I'm talking about. I didn't... Yeah, but at the same time, that's also how I know. It really depends on what you're watching. When I say rapey, that also includes people that are just weirdo sexual deviants that get off on something that isn't remotely sexual, for example. Okay, fair enough. Klingons around your ass. Thank you for the uh, three bucks. 
This officer's record shows him to be insubordinate, unprincipled, career-minded, opportunist, with a history of violating the chain of command whenever it suited him. Son of a bitch. Where is that? He's a maverick, but a damn good cop. This officer's record shows him to be insubordinate, unprincipled. Come on, whenever it suited him. God damn, that's familiar, but I can't place it. Yeah, you got not me. Talking on that about one. What's that? It's not talking about Vincent Hanna, is it? Nope. I'm. It's Star Trek. I. It's kind of an interesting idea that somebody would be insubordinate at the same time as being career minded, a career minded opportunist. I'll yeah, fuck you over because I want your job. Gimmer Valine, thank you for the 350. The mister is letting me put a industrial style lamp in the dining room with the Edison style bulbs. I love the vacuum tube age. I... <laughs> I'm hoping to start a renaissance of obsolete technology. <laughs> Next, carrier pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I'm, I'm jealous, Cynic. You got a fucking metal Upo with your game? I'm. Damn it. God damn it. Sorry, it's Giant's Gate bullshit, because it's also a game. Mm. Naturally. The metal Upo Naturally. is important. Yo, know, Bryce, I haven't figured out, you know, just for my own headcanon, um, whether Riker actually wanted command at all. I think he just told himself that. I mean,. As we all know, look at all the commands he was offered and turned down. Uh, some, hey, Sam, come on. Have you not seen people that were really good as a supportive lieutenant or lieutenant, I guess, for you? Uh, mm -hmm. Second in charge of a business or whatever. But they should never be in charge because as soon as they're the where the buck stops, it's like, wow, what happened to your leadership skills? You need to be in second or third place not first place it just doesn't suit you you're you're a crazy person well yeah well yeah i mean polly as a career tyrant you know i employ people like that <laughs> <laughs> that's just what i do so that's how you stay in power but you know manage things correctly <laughs> i should run a university oh god <laughs> university of frog <laughs> a frog university <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll call it FU for short. <laughs> <laughs> you know who Riker reminds me of? The um, the junior executive from RoboCop. That we, well, senior executive from RoboCop that was just waiting for the president to die, played by Ronnie Cox. He's the guy who created the Ed, or was the head right, of the Ed right. Two Hundred Nine system. Right. It. The. That comes to mind because that is, I would say, a third of people at universities. They're waiting for the person to die or more likely <clears throat> get transferred somewhere else. So they actually have it because there's no new opportunities opening up. When right, a right. professor retires or dies or whatever, um, they don't. They, oh, well, a tenure track position is opened up. No, no. They just hire three contract instructors and don't offer another tenure track position it's becoming yeah. an increasingly top heavy very when a pyramid gets less and less steep it just kind of becomes like a big wide flat surface after a while that's a university at this point yeah yeah a monolith <laughs> big, old, big old block uh Oh. A communist blog. <laughs> Masterful link. Hmm. Oh, before I forget, was... my favorite comment of the uh, wasn't just the week prior, it was over the last two weeks. But one stood out more than the others, uh, a lot more, because uh, I, I'm a nerd and it uh, referenced something that I loved. <laughs> I had been gone for a while, uh, sick, and then caught up with some truly insane IRL shit that I won't get into. But <clears throat> uh, that that's where I was at. That's why I was incommunicado, and uh, that's why Noir Bar was missed, and why uh, I wasn't here. And 
Um, so I was either asleep and sick or trying to hold the shambles of that which I comedically call a life together. Now, uh, somebody who apparently had noticed my absence <laughs> decided to type under an old video <laughs> as, as an introduction. It says, <laughs> Sam, you're going to love this. Uh, Polly doesn't seem to know how to live in the world anymore. And then beneath it, it's like, look out that window, Polly. Nobody does. It's dust in your <laughs> eyes, man. Blink it away. <laughs> fucking, fucking rude. <laughs> how dare oh, you piss a lot all over my dreams. <laughs> yeah. It's uh, from True Detective season two. It's one of my favorite scenes in the whole season. Yeah, uh, where that's, that's pretty... Woodrow is hung over someone stole his motorbike uh, the press is after him for shit that he didn't do i it worse and worse and worse and when you've got the burnout drug addict alcoholic divorced father violent sociopath giving you advice you've got problems that's uh if that ain't rock bottom it's hovering millimeters there above yeah. And so far, this guy who's at this really low state just looks out the window and he's like, man, I just don't even know how to live in the world anymore. And Velcoro says, take a look at that window. Nobody does. Great line. <laughs> Do you think other people have life figured out? What were you thinking? Guess again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that reminds me of one of my, one of my favorite lines. It's just, you yeah. know. There's, there's only one thing that separates adults from children. That? Responsibility. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> the ability to drink alcohol? Well, drink alcohol Legally, without... Yeah, I guess. yeah, and without developmental disabilities coming in. Yes. So I actually didn't recognize the name of the person who uh, had written that, but they... Probably from a bunch of different little video clips that I posted, realized that I was a fan of True Detective Season 2. So I really appreciate somebody coming in and doing that. That was great. Nice. Yeah. Um, Far. <clears throat> yes. Did you hear that the eclipse may have been caused by global warming? Oh. No. <laughs> what the fuck? What kind of fucking claim is that? It's a view. Yeah, it's, it's I mean, it's certainly a view, but what the fuck? It's not only a view, far. It's the view. You know those four cackling ladies, uh, the old ladies? The, oh, fucking Christ. The, yes. the, the one that thinks of herself as the intellectual. The one that actually attended and passed <laughs> law school. Sonny Hostin said that. She felt that it was possible the eclipse had been caused by global warming. I don't know. I gotta ask, how? I, I, don't... I last I checked the the rotation of the Earth, um, the, how fast it's spinning around the Sun uh, and, and the Moon, aren't really uh, related to global warming. Yeah, it's got nothing to do with nothing. It. There's only one question in hand. That, Valina, I hear you. I hear you. But Far is really into space shit, and we talk about space shit all the time. And I didn't. Uh, I was hoping she hadn't heard that yet. That I was the one who no. got to tell her that. So. <laughs> no, you you are uh, breaking news right here. What the fuck? So the question at hand is: Which is stupider, that comment or the concern that Guam might flip over if too many people go to one side of the island? Which is dumber? Oh, that's a hard question. That is a difficult one. There's no right answer. I kind of want to go with the eclipse. I kind of want to go with the eclipse just because what the fuck, lady? <laughs> At least with Guam, like the island thing, right? Yeah. Okay, you have no idea how land works, but <laughs> at the same time, it's like, well, you can sort of logic it out, right? Like, you're, you're fucking dumb, but you can logic it out of, like, why they would go for that. You, you get what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. You can, you can logic that idiocy out. Not you can't logic the the eclipse thing out because what the fuck, lady? 
<laughs> There's nothing. You've got nothing. <laughs> I, I, just, I had to type it in chat. I want. You have no idea how land works. <laughs> <laughs> Just, I, I think that, that is a good quote. I, I might add that to my own ticker on the stream. You have no idea how land works. I, I was, after you said, I was trying to think of something that requires less knowledge to use. It's, is there anything more passive? How does it work? You just, it's under you. That's it. Like, you don't, like, it. it well, yeah, like, that's the thing, right? It It's, land, it's like, the way the earth works, right? Like, yeah, you can at least logic out how you could come to those dumbass conclusions of Guam's gonna flip over. You know? If you thought like, an you island was floating. you don't have a good education. Yeah, you, you didn't basically. understand that islands are mountain peaks mostly covered by water. You're, you, you really did think they were floating land masses. Okay. Yeah, like, you have no idea how tectonic plates work, just how land is created. By volcanoes, or like just how any of this shit fucking works. Okay, you somehow managed to get through school being entirely brain dead. Got it. But and at law least school you too. can kind of understand. Well, yeah, that too. But like, at least you can kind of understand how you reach that conclusion. As stupid as it is, like, I really do stress, yeah, no, that is a fucking dumb opinion to have. Fucking thing, Guam's gonna flip over. What the fuck, lady? I mean, or man, I forget. Exa it was a lady that said that, right? No, it was a uh, representative. No, it was okay. a representative okay. from Georgia, if I'm not mistaken. I forget the gentleman's okay. name. Okay, yeah, because I forget. I forget exactly who said it, but I just know that that is a thing that was said. <laughs> Hank Johnson. That sounds um, right. That sounds right. Yeah. yeah. The point is, though, is that you can kind of at least you know you can go from A, B, C, D with that one. Mm hmm. The eclipse thing is just, you're going from A to H to C and then all the way to F. I mean, don't get me wrong, at the time of the, you know, the, 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 the formation of the moon, there probably was a little bit of global warming. If, uh, you know, the, the, well, the running theory yeah, depending of, on the, theory, the right? of the moon. Right, right, right. You know, big rock smash into Earth, loads of shit kicked up into local space. Tumbles together yeah. to form. To Sam, form which Luna. which do you think is worse? I, I'm I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with Sonny Hostin's nonsense. Okay. Like, but with full acknowledgement that thirty percent of the fact is I just don't like her. Yeah, but the thing that gets me is sort of like if if I were as bad at my job as she is at hers, I just. I would never work in, in in pretty much any industry again, you know. If I if I was to walk into if I was to walk into work, and and you know start you know like talking about computers or something like that, and 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 I'm trying to think like how stupid would I have to go in order to reach that level of stupid? Mm -hmm. And it's like, I, I think it would have to be something along the lines of like, you know, okay, so how many gins are running along this wire? I think it'd have to be something like that. Oh, said here. Oh, no kidding. I mean, so that's my call is Guam is worse. And here's why. It's worse because he's a member of the US House of Representatives and said it not just in front of a camera, which he did, but he said it to a US Navy admiral. <laughs> okay. I mean, once you add the context in, it's starting to get a little and a little worse. The, the 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 interaction between them back and forth is fucking priceless. Like I feel so bad for the brass there for for that admiral. My God, because this this guy is functionally within the um, he, he's from the civilian leadership of his government, right? You, he can't say you're an idiot, sir. Like that's just not you just you just not in a position yeah, to be able to do that. That's not the military way. Yeah. So what does he say? He's like we don't foresee that happening. Oh no! Sunny Hostin was just she. She's. She, I, I mean, the whole show's a, a show of vapidity. You know what I mean? It, it's all one giant yeah. uh, air bubble over there. Uh, they get paid for hot takes. Members of the U.S. House of Representatives don't get paid for hot takes. Well, they shouldn't well. be. They shouldn't be. 
liked it. AOC. Yeah. <laughs> and I managed to guess it right. It, it is Georgia. George fourth, Georgia's fourth congressional district. Poor Georgia, man. They got problems. They. I mean, yeah, I think Guam it makes, is going to flip over. It makes me reconsider the, the 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 woo goblins idea of uh, dropping moon bombs by dropping rocks from the moon. That the moon is going to be the militarized. If it becomes militarized, it'll be the most dangerous weapon of mass destruction that mankind has ever faced. Do you have any idea the amount of energy oh that a, a rock will have if you drop it from the moon by the time it gets to the earth? I, Fucking Christ, I forgot all about that. Yeah. Brianna Wu, man. She ran yeah. for Congress but didn't make it. And you would think that that means that there's some kind of bottleneck, some kind of system in place to stop the truly stupid from getting into a position of being able to make policy or do much damage. And it's like, no, no, no. Hank Johnson made it. And he's a lawyer. <laughs> no, no. No, no. People get through. They're just better at it. Yeah. They're just better at faking that they're not complete morons. That's it. See, I'm trying to... Oh, my God. So, I mean, I, I, bust balls. I'm trying to think... If there's anything that I misunderstand so badly on a principle level, like I don't even get the principle of how the thing operates, and it has to be something that's that's common, like an island or the moon. Like you know what I mean? It, <laughs> I'm trying to think of something that I because I'm not the world's smartest well, guy. There's all kinds of shit I don't understand. Sam, I'm coming to you saying why is it that remember when I was asking you when you're transferring something off of a external hard drive, why is it so much more dangerous to move the file than to copy the file and then delete it afterwards? Mm -hmm. What is yeah, the- Yeah, thanks for that. Thank you for making me relive my uh, my trauma. Yeah, sorry about that. Molly, Sam, thank you. I'm, I'm like, well, how are they different? I thought it was only different in the UI and what it's showing you, but they're actually behind the scenes, the ones and the zeros, performing the exact same function. As Sam filled me in, nope, they're not. One is temp filing and the other one is not and thus if something corrupts mm -hmm. there is no backup for it and i'm like oh okay so there's lots of things in that i don't understand in principle but so basic is the moon and land i don't know i, I mean i can i can tell you one that uh i'm pretty sure my dad still believes huh and i don't know how much if, if he does or not but he did at one point um he believed that all of us using computers on the internet at the same time was affecting the TV signal. That's that's not kind of a, as wild as it as it might otherwise sound. Is he I throwing mean, it back was to not what was happening? RF signals and rabbit but, uh, ears. Is he just being a super boomer I about don't, things? I don't even know if he knew about that. To be honest, like he's not. He doesn't do computers. I think I need to start that off with. Oh, okay. Like he is completely technologically inept he's you wondering know, where the things is a miracle. you know kickstart is and how, does yeah, this laptop like it's need a miracle its pump he can, um, <laughs> i mean honestly probably at some point in his life like it is incredible he can even use his fucking phone at this point not gonna lie um but yeah that he's not coming from this from any point of Understanding how the thing right, works. What we're going to try to do. It it is solely him going. Oh, everyone is using the internet at the same time. Oh, and as that is occurring, TV signal is garbage. Paradoxically. Therefore, yeah. when in reality, no, no, we just had a really shitty TV. Honestly, mm. that's that's all it was. It was just a shitty TV. No, but I mean, that, 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 that demonstrates a certain, you know, technological capacity in so much as, you know, okay, so these things yeah. are doing this, and this thing's doing this, and I'm looking for an explanation as to why yeah, this thing's Cognition doing. is running, yeah, definitely. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, cognition exactly. is running, but he doesn't understand how A relates to, to B. Yeah, yeah. Or even where, if it does. Where Sonny Huston, on the other hand, is asserting that A relates to, you know, <laughs> Gly 7B. <laughs> Gamer Valine, thank you very much for the 350 and the Abadabadoo. Unfortunately, Ted Cruz is only predictably spicy on Twitter, and every year when he puts forth a bill for Congress, 
and term limits. Yeah. Uh, we don't do politics here. So this is the last thing I'll mention about it. Cruz was my guy from 2016. Like, that's who I wanted to vote for, but he didn't make it through. But saying that, um, I recognize the guy is uh, uh, not liked by most people. <laughs> that's it. People find him creepy. I don't find him creepy. You know what it yeah, is? Yeah, he, he is the, uh, you know. <laughs> you think you would have warmed up to it by now. He hasn't he killed anybody in killer. decades, Far Decades. You I, know, the thing that he has to do, he has to keep the beard because when he's clean shaven, he looks like a slimy lawyer. And I, and I mean, no, I mean, look, I'm not a good looking guy. Mm -hmm. I, I'm not. But as one, you know, not good looking guy to another not good looking guy, he really needs to keep the beard. He looks so much more personable with the beard. He really does. It, it really is an optics thing. It really is an optics thing. And the fact that, you know, he's, he's, he does have a sly wit as well. And that's just, uh, Kimberly's right, he did warm up to it. You didn't know that he had a sly wit for a while, but he got comfortable. With it. Yeah, he is actually funny, but to me, it's, I want a strict constitutionalist. I want an old schooler, a guy who's in love with the Constitution, and that's Cruz. And, that is true. But, that is true. it's uh, just not going to happen, at least not soon. He's, uh, most people don't trust him, they find him creepy and weird. And Trump, as soon as he gives you a name, it's, it's, you know, you're that thing, right? So it's like, he's a Zodiac killer. So he is the Zodiac killer, in fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey, Cynic's out of here. Hey, see you later. Catch you later. I don't think it's Cynic that's out. Oh, it's uh, the Mad, Antler the Mad. I'm going to tap out for the night. I see ya. Uh, good to see that you're doing well, Polly. Well, I'm, I appreciate the well-wishing, but I'm not doing well. But thank you. So what He's doing well enough. He's functioning. Yeah, I, am, I that's right. I, I am still upright. Uh, you know what? I got to, uh, this was really fun. Um, I was over at my friend's house and his, uh, okay, hold on. His sister's stepdaughter, yes, was there. So his stepniece, I don't know. I don't get genealogy. <laughs> One day I'm going to find... At that point, I'd just be like, yeah, niece. Yeah, yeah, the kid. Okay? There's yeah, a... <laughs> the child. Yeah, right. The child was there. And uh, two adults were sitting there trying to explain how the eclipse works. And the kid is pretty bright. She was like, but the <laughs> it, it's uh, why doesn't it happen all the time? Good question. Good question. So. It's it, it it goes. She she was off in the days. She said like it's like every twenty five days. I'm like well, twenty eight, and it varies, but close, really close. So, but yeah, you're right. So why doesn't it happen every twenty eight days? Is what she's asking every lunar cycle. I'm like, yeah, solid question. And I'm sitting there listening to these two adults trying to explain it, and it became clear to me that they didn't understand. They didn't know either, and they were just trying to be, you know, adults, if you know what I yeah. mean. Yeah. And it. That's the point where you start looking it up on your phone, though, in all honesty. Just going, they, I don't know. I'm going to figure it out. So we both know. I explained it to her with a golf ball and a baseball. Nice. Yeah. Good stuff, yeah. Visual learning. Very good with kids. Yeah. I was, at, I, I was, I was like, matter, imagine frankly. that this thing is the moon, <laughs> which is convenient because it's white and pockmarked, much like the moon. The golf ball, you know. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> so uniformly? Yeah. Mm, not so much. Yeah. It, it, it comes out, it's like, and th this is when shit got weird, right? Because I'm trying to explain to her, you said, why doesn't it happen all the time? And when it does happen, why does it perfectly cover the sun? That's what she didn't understand. Um, mm -hmm. like, why is it dangerous to look at the eclipse while it's happening? Why do you need glasses? That's where the whole thing started. Why do you that's, need special that's glasses? That's a good question. That is another good question. <laughs> A, a, it is a, a yeah subtly good question yeah yeah if it's because she said if it's dark what's the problem smart yeah and it's like well it, it is dark but there's stuff you can't see mostly ultraviolet it's it it's dark enough that the pupils of your eyes dilate to let in more light and in doing so allow much more uv bleed through the atmosphere to enter uh, into the into the cones and rods at the back of your eyes which which is actually yeah yeah, it, it, that's what causes the damage. Mm -hmm. And they, your it, your, your natural defense doesn't. I'm like, 
and I figured out, somebody said, uh, I don't know if this is, I was watching uh, a show and a guy says, I don't know if I did the right thing, but I didn't want my kids to fuck around and be staring at the sun. So I told them it was going to literally burn the eyes out of their skulls if they, just because I didn't want them fucking around. Oh, God. And, you know, because I don't know if That's that was bad stone, parenting but... or what, but <laughs> it's what I did. I, I was able to get across the idea to where it's like, it's like, so it is dangerous for your eyes in that that UV radiation will, um, will actually cause minor scarring at your retina and that don't grow back. Like the rods and cones won't grow back if scar tissue results on your retina. That's why mm -hmm. it will be permanent damage. It will lessen the brightness of your vision, the uh, range of colors you can see. There might be dead zones, dark areas, that kind of shit. You don't mm -hmm. want that. And I, just from the look on her face, I could tell she wasn't going to be looking at the eclipse. I could just tell. <laughs> <laughs> you, you did it you taught a child yeah but when when i'm explaining it right like see the moon is exactly the right size and exactly the right distance such that it just perfectly covers the sun and then she says why oh god like and not in a, in a petulant way it's just like how is that possible that it's like it's just this big and just this distant like the sun's this exact size, the moon's this exact size, and et cetera. How did that all work out just so? She says, well, why? I said, why what? She says, why is it all like so ordered like that? And I'm like, should I start kicking my theory on the anthropic principle or just drop this? I Oh, one thing at a time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just say God, right? <laughs> I mean, my, my answer would be uh, one thing at a time, right? Yeah. Like, that's, oh, a, that's, a, that's a story for another TEDx talk. <laughs> right? It's a, 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 the, the baseball's done for the day. Well, let's talk about uh, uh, the never-ending search for uh, alien fish women to fuck. I, are we sure we didn't look at this? Europa? Yeah, this this seems oddly familiar. Well, yeah, it's been sitting there. But did we actually talk about it? I don't it, know as we did. I'm a drunk. Probably briefly. You tell me. I think we did. I, I think I, we did briefly cover this. I don't think we talked much about the it. Jovian moon. Oh, wait, hold on. Seems vaguely familiar. New measurement yeah. suggests it's way lower than that. Yeah, it's 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 all dry, dusty balls. There's the takeaway. <laughs> Except yeah. for the one with the um, ice geysers. The cryovolcanoes. Yeah, yeah, the cryovolcanoes, which are just the fucking coolest thing. Who doesn't love an ice? The, even even the word, even the word sounds awesome. Cryovolcanism. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> There's no warm water underneath a very thin surface with all kinds of alien weirdness. Uh, uh, just well, there is warm water, but you know, there's no alien fish women. They've all been boiled. <laughs> well, I mean, there's probably a habitable zone, but it st still stands. Yeah. It. Well, I mean, far you 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 understand this stuff better than I do. The chemical soup that's there. It wouldn't be life as we understand it or how to be able to detect oh, for it. Because there would need to be plant life and microbial life to clean the water and keep it consistently such. And there, if there, yeah. if there isn't, because that's the chicken or the egg, right? They're looking for any kind yeah. of life form. And it's like, it's like well, there would be this habitable water, but only if there were life forms there. But that's what we're looking for. But you're assuming that the water is there to begin with to support them. Like you, you got to The water is there. Like, it is there, but, like, it's, it probably still stands, though. Like, yeah, it's exactly what you're saying, though. It's just, you know, is it exactly as we would know it? Probably thank not. You, uh, thank you, Ralph Wiggum, for the three bucks. <laughs> Says, where's Miss Hoover? Maybe she went to the moon. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not doing the voice. You're like, you'll have to, you'll have to imagine that. Oh, I know we did that where's one. Miss Hoover? I ch 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 choose you. Yeah, <laughs> I ch ch choose you. God, I was so sad. <laughs> oh, oh, Lord. You can see the exact point where his heart breaks. 
<laughs> I've used <laughs> that joke danger. so many times. You could pinpoint the exact <laughs> moment when his hopes and dreams fell to the bottom of the earth. Okay. Oh, man. So, uh, Sam. Yes. No, ladies' choice. Far. Oh, okay. It's always ladies' choice. Well, yes. The responsibility, to... the freedom of... What, what, what? We have to maintain some principles around here, Far. Yeah, it's like choosing... It's principles? A, it, it, politeness? Genteel behavior? Being deferent in the presence of a lady? Yeah, we don't do politics. And since there isn't one here, you'll have to do. I... <laughs> I could just leave. <laughs> Holy shit. But it's fine. Neither of us are gentlemen. We're all pretending. Holy fucking shit. <laughs> Did you think I was like complimenting myself? You're wrong. Okay, so. <clears throat> uh when you buy a corset, that's when you're gonna be a lady far. Not until. What? What? But she's already tiny. Did tiny people wear corsets just because they, like, everyone else did? Possibly. Yeah, yes. Everyone wore corsets. Even some men. It was kind of weird, really. Yeah, I've, I've seen some dudes that should be wearing waist cinchers out there. Like, my God, man. <laughs> because they're wearing one anyway with their belt. You ever seen them dudes? that like They got these two <laughs> tiny oh, little God, sticks yeah. going up into the bottom of a Mr. Potato Head. Like there's this big <laughs> gut hanging over their belt. That's just, what have you been doing to your internal organs for how long with that belt, man? Holy Where shit. Where are his organs? <laughs> <laughs> then explain how you treat Gamer Valine. I, how do I, what? Wait, what? Meaning I don't give her choice of things? Uh, no, I'm lost on that one. Her boyfriend intimidates me. Okay. <clears throat> <laughs> with his job and punctuality? I can't compete with that. I... <laughs> <laughs> but the fucking guy even folds his laundry. I did... All right. He does if he knows what's good for him. Right? Uh... <laughs> Valine strikes me as one of those people is like, you know, the bed better be made. That kind of thing. She strikes me as one of those fastidious weirdos about making beds. I could just leave. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I love how saying that I end up like talking about most of humanity. Well, in the Western world that can afford beds. You know, that. Mm -hmm. I don't understand people's obsession with... with making beds man okay hey i make the bed is your bed up against a wall or is it in the center of the room so you no. get to both sides center it's in the center is it because is it for facilitating making it so you can get around to both sides yes honestly yes you, you, I, which is not to be embarrassed about well i think there is but i, I go against the grain on this one most yeah, people you don't fucking make your bed yeah, I am not sacrificing a whole bunch of square footage inside of a room just so I can meet my fucking ADHD need to fucking see straight sheets when I walk in the room. Oh, they're not straight. <laughs> uh, yes, all the square footage in a bedroom, you know, the place where you go to sleep. <laughs> well, yeah. Right. Sam unintentionally tells on his loneliness. But anyway, <laughs> I... <laughs> I... Polly, Polly, come on. I have a kitchen and a front room <laughs> and a library. I've got plenty of places. You have a library? That. Oh, a library. I have a spare room a where fucking... I... I have a spare room where I keep my books that I affectionately refer to as the library. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, you should not have um, expanded on that, Sam, because that makes it sound so much sadder. <laughs> well, I, I would call it a study, but I ain't been... Uh, I, I don't do learning things. I don't do paper right now, Mo. You should have just said it's a library and just left it at that. 
<laughs> I'm attempting to be personable for. <laughs> I have a friend who calls it his book room. See now that is sad. That's that's a that's car hole energy. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it is. Thank Actually, you, yeah. Garage. Listen to Mister Fancy Frenchman. <laughs> yeah, like what do, what do you call it? A car oh. hole. <laughs> <laughs> Classic. Uh, I I want a conservatory. Nothing wrong yeah. with that. Yeah, I mean, not for musical purposes or that I need the acoustics in a given room. I just want a room that's called a conservatory to be like, you know, Clue-esque. I, I want to be able to, mm -hmm. and there will be candlesticks in that room. That is what we're going to try to do. Is it pessimistic to put candles in your solarium? Well, no, because what are you going to do at night? No. Like, yeah, you know, if you don't have a lantern or whatever, it makes sense to have one. <laughs> and you strike me as a guy who's got scented candles. How fucking dare you? <laughs> it's not so much the scented candles, it's what they're scented of that makes me laugh when I think of you. I think it's probably like sandalwood. I've never been so insulted. Did, did, did I nail life. it? Oh, fuck yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think I have yeah. ever. <laughs> I've bought a okay, scented candle is... once for the bathroom to replace one that I knocked over when I was in a relationship with a woman who bought scented candles for the bathroom. Sam, you just because I didn't want to come deal on with the that stream. bullshit. <laughs> you could have just not come on the stream. This, and this... <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Are you We're regretting your choices? Hold on. <laughs> uh, Game of Lane, thank you for the 350. Um, I have ADHD. I don't make my bed. This is all on my guy and his tism, or OCD. It's one of the two. Nice. Valine gets it. You're going to be getting in there and messing the sheets up less than 24 hours later. Unless you're me, and yeah. it might be 36. And it's going to feel nice. You're going to be creasing your clothes, so why bother ironing them? Because I'm not wearing my bed while I'm walking around. In the world. The, granted, granted, but you're going to sleep in it, Polly. And would you not like to have a, a well-ordered and comfortable bed? I'm curious, when you... So, you go to a hotel, right? right. Like you, yeah. Sam, you, Far, you, Chat, right? For those of you who really love, like, getting into... Because I've, I've heard this before, and it's like, okay... I accept that that's comfort is your thing. You get to decide what it is, right? Do you insta pull out the sheets right away from where they're tucked under the mattress and whatnot? Or do you want your feet splayed out to the side as the room to maneuver gets steadily tighter toward the end of the bed? I, I pull don't... it out when I'm going to bed. Right. I, I don't think I understand. That's the decision the I make. You don't understand the question. I make when I, you know, get into bed. You're Sisyphus oh, yeah. with sheets, Sam. That's my point. I, I, I don't see what the. I, I don't understand the problem that's be, that's being posed here. You know who Sisyphus is, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Well, allegedly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the guy who invented rocking and rolling. Yeah. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone asks, do you know him? But nobody ever asks, how is he? Terrible. Uh, He's cursed uh, for all eternity to uh, yeah, I, I a trivial action really that, that accomplishes how nothing. He, is. he died and it was all the really from there. Right? I don't think it's really worth asking how he is, though, because you can tell how it's going. I, okay, so I'm legitimately curious. Not there, well. There's, you're right. The answer's pretty much not well. I, if, if he's doing okay, then the gods fucked up, because I don't think he, he, it's, it's supposed to be a good time. If he's having a jolly time pushing a rock up the hill, you know. What did he do? <laughs> do you know? I forget. Uh, some yeah, offense to Zeus, do? right? Or was it Poseidon? I don't know. I, what, why would it be Poseidon? Wouldn't that be ocean-related, then? He could be creative far. <laughs> There's islands in the ocean. Not that. 
Guam. None of which are at risk of flipping over. <laughs> yeah, you got Guam. <laughs> okay, so did the entire island of Guam piss Poseidon off? Is that why it's at risk of <laughs> flipping over? <laughs> so you've got okay. I know three different ways to fold a pocket square. And I can do four different necktie knots. Mm -hmm. So there's options for sheet origami, if you will. Why continually tuck it under the mattress when there's options of just laying it down on top? It will look just as orderly, so the tism will be satisfied. But you won't have to rip it out every time you get into bed. Or is it like ripping the wrapping off a present? That's part of it. I, are, we, are we still I, talking about hotel sheets? Because I certainly yeah. don't do that. I, I fold like one corner back and then slip in through, through the corner that's like okay you know, opened up. I, I it's, it's, so and, does a hotel seem over the top or are you delighted for the extra? It's a little over the top, but I'm not going to complain. Huh. Right. I don't know. This is just not the way I live, so I'm fascinated by it. Like it's just such a <laughs> strange way to go I'm, about I'm life. Just, I, I'm trying. I'm I'm trying to picture the the, the struggle question mark. That, that you're referring to I, and I, the I, struggle I, I, have you i've gotten into a hotel and it, it it i mean pulling those sheets out it felt like they were folded halfway under the mattress all the way up to my head like there was no getting them out of there i had to get out of the bed to pull the sheets out because you know, i'm six two my feet stick off the end of most beds or come close to and so I yeah see, i did I, I, I see i see length of the bed Length of the bed is is not yeah okay okay no I I'm kind of I kind of get where you're coming from so unless now. I, I um, no do the fetal position on one side so obviously I'm not you know, you're not gonna be as long that way but I just no I uh, yeah my feet are usually sticking out it's part of temperature regulation I'm I'm, I'm kind of frightened to say this but I usually get the 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 the, the fancier suite with a bigger bed in it so I'm not familiar with the problem but i can see how 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 that could be a problem sure it was a punishment for believing he was more clever than zeus oh right no because he that was the thing because he used to like guests would arrive uh in uh in in his uh kingdom kingdom because he was a king wasn't he was and, he um yeah know that? yeah okay. yeah yeah um the, 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 the weird greek name um and uh yeah he would uh in order to sort of go off just how powerful he was as a ruler he would periodically have guests killed um because you know i mean you know the killing of guests uh you know uh visitors under your roof was um uh, the, the killing of them would be seen as, as, a, as a great affront it was yeah, absolutely very, yeah that, that part taboo. i get like the, the yeah. as all, indeed it still is all of the stuff you know? well yeah but yeah, the thing around guests and and how you have to treat them in greek homes it's that I'm aware of. So it's like, okay, so you would whack people out in affrontery of standard manners. Okay. And? Zeus was like, fuck that shit? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, the, the, the gods, the, the Greek gods were the, were the, were the, um, the, um, not point of origin, but the sort of the, uh, to, to, to desecrate social taboos would be to, um, would be to, to, you know, to offend the gods. And I'm fairly sure that was why he ended up uh, and uh, Zeus found out Sisyphus was up to this when he was coming by to bang another man's wife. The height of <laughs> good behavior. Yeah, it did mm -hmm. well. Wouldn't surprise me. Um, but yeah, because because hospitality of lucky. guests, you know, it's this, it's you know, it's a, a sacred, sacred thing, very sacred to the Greeks oh, and Lord, Romans. It, and a, it's yeah. an absolute, in my opinion, obnoxious part of the Odyssey. The People that came and hung around Odysseus's wife for years while he's out being kicked from island to island, going through tribulations and trials and the the, the murder of his fucking crew mm. and, and all, did all just trying to get home, trying to get home. Meanwhile, all his friends and buddies are sitting there scheming on his wife and they're all like, hey, she can't make us leave. Motherfuckers, you've been here for years. Like the Greeks took couch surfing to a whole new level, and they're still at it. Couch surfing on the entire EU. <laughs> Ain't that the truth? <laughs> Ain't that the fucking truth? <laughs> Goddamn all of oh, these some bastards! Things, some things just never change. Bart, we we should write a book. 
it's just short paragraphs of our observations about Europe from a poorly understood <laughs> distant perspective. Right? From like, just from the distance of not being from Europe. Yeah. But of European descent. Yeah. And just having no understanding how this shit works. Right. And just piecing it all together and taking <laughs> guesses. And I, I'm sorry, our theory on um, the seven deadly sins is gold. It's just what the Italians consider good and bad. That's what really you're reading there. <laughs> I mean, is what about bribery? It's 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 wrong, but it's it's not that bad. Really, the Italian said that. Shocking. I <laughs> right. <laughs> really, lust is only like what the 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 second ring of hell. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah, he's it's got pretty... he, read it reading the order yeah. that Dante puts them in, and the particular people that he runs across, and Virgil's like you know showing them along through to the center. He runs into these people that are like the worst examples of it. And it's the the revenge aspect. You know what I mean? Where it's like revenge is and vengeance is supposed to be uh, something that's going to land you there. Meanwhile, you have Dante showing his vengeance by naming people he doesn't like that are burning in hell. I <laughs> With a yeah. zero sense honestly, of irony. Yeah, honestly, it's like, I didn't even realize that the, the few times I've read you know, Dante's Inferno. Because I have a couple of times, but because the language used, it a lot of it just, you know, just goes over my head, right? Right. It's not an <laughs> but, easy like, read. I understand it's, the it's gist. Not, yeah. No, I understand the gist of what, what's happening, though, right? And, like, it, some of it, yeah, you only know if you start researching it just how uh, weird the whole thing truly is, right? Including, like, yeah, these are all the guys he just fucking hates. They're just in these lower rings, because fuck them, I guess. Yeah. But they... then you have all the uh, the Roman scholars and shit that he's like, oh, yeah, I, I, I really love you so much. I, I wish you guys were alive and Christian so you didn't have to be in purgatory. <laughs> but they're all just in purgatory. They're just hanging out. Right. <laughs> they're just chilling. Yeah. Notice how, notice how many people he gives a purgatory guide. pass to, right? It's like, but yeah. wait a minute, the things that you just described that they were in purgatory for should have landed them in hell, no? Like, it's not very consistent. It, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's so picky and choosy, but it's hilarious. <laughs> like, I, I can't even fault him for it, because it's just, that's just so Italian. <laughs> it is. It's just so Italian. <laughs> but of course, you know, bottom ring, what is it, you know, it's, it's a treachery. Treason. Yeah, treachery. Right. What the what is the yeah. worst thing of all? Treachery. Betrayal of one's friends, family. Oh, I was gonna say yeah. Greeks, but that works too, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So yeah, you have treachery, treason, and, and just right there, you know, exactly who you would expect, Judas. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But who else is like I feel like Brutus. there's other Yeah, Brutus. Which is uh Giovanni Garibaldi, like there's a, it's one. like who's that? Well, he was a contemporary of Dante that just fucked him over in a card game one time, you know. Mm -hmm. I just <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's exactly what I mean though. When, when I say when just, it comes so to Italian. games and money. When it comes to games and money, the Italians they uh, they never they never forgive. <laughs> <laughs> they never forget. This is what I mean. We got we got uh, the, the the anecdotal book of understanding Europe. Not really, though. <laughs> yeah, an American and an Australian explain Europe. <laughs> <laughs> the Twitch Hiker's Guide to Europe. <laughs> oh, as we take guesses as what Spanish bacon is and how it differs from everybody else's bacon. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is up with that? Is it just... I know it's hotly... So I, 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 yeah, I know people love it and I am interested in trying... Like, Bacon? Yeah, sure. And it's supposedly yeah, really... Yeah, sure, it's fucking bacon. Yeah. Of course I'll try that. But I, lo I, I, I love... Sam, bacon. explain it to us. Why Why is Spanish bacon so uh, uh, sought? I mean, here it's not. <laughs> so I, I got nothing. <laughs> the is, French, is there man. like a French equivalent? Like French bacon? Uh, I mean, we do have uh, bacon, but it's it's like round. That's... Well, they have really round bacon. Yeah. It's, it's you know, pressed, yeah. um, formed, so, formed bacon. Ew. And then we have formed Danish bacon. bacon? Then, we, then we have, you know, Danish bacon. Holly, are you bacon, hearing this? Yeah, I... 
What the fuck? But it's chicken so it, nugget bacon. Yeah, so it's no. not it's it's, it's like not that. from the cut of the belly. Is is it from the same cut the Canadian bacon's from, or is it actually reformed? I think so, yeah. It's it's not it's not like it's not blended down and then formed. No, it's it's cuts of meat that are pressed together to form a round. And then it's, you know, smoked and then thinly sliced. That still sounds really nuggety to me. Mm. No, it's not nuggety at all. No, no that's a, a, Polly put that down as my notes of French bacon. It sounds nuggety to me. <laughs> this is nuggety. <laughs> what is this? A bake a bacon fuck? wrapped tenderloin, I think. Yeah. yeah. Oh there it is, tenderloin. It looks yeah. really good. Yeah. Is There's that a, a cool full ham. beef tenderloin? Oh man, I it would eat really that. small. Oh, I'd eat it too. Look how nice, like, fantastically yeah. rare it is on the inside. That's yeah, that's fucking it's not decadent. Chard. Man. Holy shit! What? What was I listening to the other day? The uh, the narrator kept calling it thyme. I'm like, it's it's time. Just just. <laughs> they call it thyme. This is really <laughs> painful, man. Oh, I oh, remember. Man. I. I <laughs> I remember it was a, so I was cleaning all kinds of shit and moving stuff around. Right. So I put on something, um, that was long. I was like, I was looking for like a, a podcast or whatever to play. And since I had my computer open, I don't know why, but I actually got an interesting recommend debunking ancient aliens. And it was like three and a quarter hours long. Oh my God. I'm like, admittedly, there's a lot to debunk, but I'm like, this better well, yeah. be, yeah, I'm going to give everything. The, yeah, I'm going to give this like 10 minutes, see where it goes. And no, I ended up watching the whole thing over like pauses. I went got something to eat and blah, blah, blah. But yeah, that was it. The guy, because they were talking about the, um, have you ever seen the hieroglyphs that are interpreted to be uh, ancient Egyptian light bulbs? <laughs> oh, God. That's a, one, of, one of the many things that. The, the guy goes through it very procedurally. Let's talk about each one of these fucking things that they talk about on the history channels, ancient aliens. And let's reference each one of them. Uh, anyway, so when they come across that, it's, it's uh, bits of thyme coming out. The, 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 these are not um, electrical charges escaping from a loose socket, as the weirdo with the poofed out hair explains. And he kept, this is a smart man, very smart man, um, Dr. He Heisner, Heiser. And he, the amount of pronunciation mistakes that he made on like thyme, that was just like, dude, you are just like every professor I know. You are <laughs> very smart in a whole bunch of Do ways me. and then really slow in others. Kind of like me. That's I some Cyril Lull delete bullshit right there. Uh, yeah. I sent you a couple of pictures of uh, French bacon. Spanish breakfast casserole. I. That sounds nice. It looks like it's overgrown with weeds. Do you know what I mean? That's called garnish, Polly. You see, in the civilized world, sometimes we like to oh decorate our food so it's visually appealing. I mean, far. <laughs> that's, that's not that. Well, speaking of visual appeal, this must turn you off, far. I mean, look at how oh, absolutely. phosphorus yeah, white oh, those no. eggs are, and how gleaming yeah. yellow the yolks are. It's all too perfect, right? No, the no, the yolk would be fine. It's the white that concerns oh. me. You you like a runny yolk as well, do you, Phil? Well, that's it's the only part of the egg I can eat without a headache. Oh, that's true. That's true. I remember you saying. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I fucking hate egg whites. They're disgusting. Which is why, you know, stuff like scrambled eggs is just off the table. Mm hmm There we go. French bacon. So yeah, he's yeah. I oh my god. So it's uh it's it's uh, it's a loin that's uh or loins that are pressed together to form a round and then it's smoked, and then we cut it into very thin slices. I have to say, this is the unfattiest bacon I have ever seen. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no kidding. Yeah, it's uh, it's it's. Hot I, smoke. I don't like it. <laughs> Oops. But I just, it's just not. It doesn't look like ba it looks like Silverside, which I like Silverside. Mm -hmm. But what the fuck, Sam? I imagine it probably is very similar to Canadian bacon, which I've never had. But yeah. it's bacon yeah, fume, a boss dihetra. 
it hickory smoked <laughs> bacon. Hickory smoked, okay. Yeah, etre. I think I think etre is, uh, is 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 hickory. No, no, I preferred the way Polly said it. Yeah, bois bois is wood. B o i s bois is wood. Ba. Boys. Hmm. Gabagool, yeah, Boys. right, Serpentine. Right. Mm. No, Gabagool's. Well, I mean, number one, way fattier. Um, mm. And I'm a fan of hot um, Capicolo. It's got the the, the, mm -hmm. the spicy spice on the outside. France doesn't have a love affair with the pig like uh, Italy does, do they? Um, I mean, yes and there's, yes. There's a, there's, a, there's a good like we've got a good amount of, uh, of, of you know regional dried and smoked sausages that we we love. Uh, um, uh, you know, um, uh, dried hams of various different types. You, you know, you go into any supermarket in any part of the any part of the country, any meat market in any part of the country, and find you know the local jambon sec or jambon cru. You know. Okay. Um, and those are just literally th those are th that's ham that's been aged in such a way, um, with, usually without smoking. Uh, jambon cru is um, uh, ham that's been aged uh, without smoking. Uh, to such a point that it um, uh, kind of cooks under its own sort of like aging and 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 um, and uh, uh, drying process, I suppose. Yeah. And then you got jambon sec, which is just dried ham, quite literally. But uh, but yeah, that's probably more along the lines of what you would visualize as bacon would be uh, something like jambon sec or jambon fumé, which is smoked ham. So this is. Um... Are you, okay, so these these uh, 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 pig discs here. Are you? Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, I just, sorry. I, are, sorry, are, just pig discs. <laughs> <laughs> are, are these loin slices? Are are you? Uh, no, 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 pig discs. Pig discs. Okay, let's just. Uh, yeah, pig discs. Sure. You had it right the first we'll, time. We'll stick with the yeah, impromptu. We'll spin these at forty-five. You know, get a good scratchy sound mm -hmm. going. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, are you? Using them, eating them like uh, uh, a full English or uh, American breakfast? Like, is no. it breakfast food? Uh, no, not really. I mean, like, can you put them in a sandwich? Yeah, they're, they're typically eaten kind of like raw as is. They're not, they're not fried, as it were. You can. What the you fuck? Can. Um, they're, they're, they're really, really thin. Really, really thin. Um, they, they curl away into, you know, nothing if you, if you were to fry them as much as you would like American-style bacon or Danish-style bacon. Well or Australian um, bacon cuz mm -hmm. we cook ours. What the mm -hmm. fuck? Um but this is this is something that you'd have like um you know like your your rock melon fa. Yeah. Cut your rock melon up into quarters and then, you know, put some of this on top. I've never Cut gotten that. It. That's a big thing with the Italians it's a Roman too with, thing. with it's a Roman thing yeah. with, with with capicolo is, yeah. around melon. I've n yeah, yeah. I've tried it and I get it, the sweet and the salt. I, I like you know, yes, intellectually, I understand where, it, but I don't like the. I don't know. I'm just not a fan. Where it comes from is kind of weird, in so much as because because original this this is something that's kind of weird. Like sweet melon is actually a fairly recent thing. We're talking like the past three four hundred years. Um, the 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 sort of the the, the you know the rock melon, the musk melon uh, of of you know the days of the old back when God was a lad, you know, a couple of thousand years ago. <laughs> when they Moses were short pants. Yeah. Mm -hmm, exactly. They they weren't especially sweet. You'd got that um you know if you've ever had cantaloupe melon, it's uh, got like a like an almost um alcoholic kind of um yeah aftertaste. I, yeah, I suppose. I, it, it's it's that, got it's that, got a certain musky funk. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So so it, it it had that, but it wasn't especially sweet. Um. And and I don't know whether it was. I don't know whether it was a pure flavor thing or whether there was some sort of like, you know, sanitary reason to have it, much as like, you know, salted meat. Why did we salt meat for sanitary reasons initially? You know, to preserve it. Yeah. To cook it through. Um, so I don't know if it, I don't know if it's, not uh, have if it it's go to waste, that. For God's sake. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But no, it's, uh, I would strongly encourage anybody to, you can use regular bacon. You can use regular bacon. Uh, you want to go for um, uh, bacon that's been, that's been salted, not that stuff that's been like weirdly brined and is ridiculously salty, if you're going to do it with, uh, with, with regular bacon. Um, but yeah, give it a go sometime. It's, it's, it's surprisingly good. So if you, um, if you, so let your bacon cool. Though. You know the full English breakfast, right? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. An American breakfast is going to be, related 
Yeah. Uh, I don't think a lot of Americans want to oh, admit yeah. that, but who cares? Like, I don't understand the you don't problem. Do... They, I mean, you leave don't the... like, it makes sense you. that it would be related, though. Leave the blood pudding out, because that's just what the fuck. What? Yeah, that's weird. Yeah. I'm a texture guy. Yeah, that, right. the, the the crumbliness of it is a big fuck. Oh? No, yeah. Are you talking boiled? Yeah, I just Are you don't talking like boiled the pudding or, or, or fried? Boiled, I believe it is the the kinds that oh, I've yeah, had. That's... That's that's why it's wrong. Yeah, 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 yeah. Fry it. It's it's wrong when it's boiled. It falls apart. It's mushy. It's blech. fry that shit. That's the way to eat black pudding. You're <laughs> and white pudding. I'm not I'm consuming sorry, a pudding? tube yeah. of blood. Oh, it's it's only a tiny bit of blood. It's mostly fucking oatmeal and other things. <laughs> Ew. Oh. I can't think of anything worse than oatmeal soaked blood. Oh, blood soaked you, oatmeal. What, what do you fuck? what do you think they used to bulk sausages out with in the first place? Ground I meals. I don't particularly like sausages that much in the first place, so oh, well, you know. Yeah, fair enough. Fair enough in that case. So, Maybe that's fucking enough. why. So, <laughs> bacon or sausage, you know that kind of thing, right? Toast, eggs, or, or um, what? Bacon or sausage? No, 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 no. Well, you can do both, of course. <laughs> I was about to say, come with me, my friend. <laughs> we do bacon, both, yeah. sausage, but you get the idea. And then toast and eggs or whatever. What is it in France? What's the standard full breakfast in France? I'm curious. Well, we don't really have like a like a. We don't really well, they have, have like hot the full chocolate English. in a bowl. That's there right. That, that's yeah. right. Yeah. They have the hot um, chocolate in a bowl and they dip croissants in it. That's all I know. And that's solely because of Sam. Please, please, <laughs> some respect for our friend, Croissant. <laughs> Honestly, I think I prefer Croissant to whatever the hell Father said. <laughs> croissant. croissant. It's a croissant. 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 <laughs> no, croissant. Hey, Apex, how's it going? Croissant. <laughs> this is this this from the nation of people that have places called Kalguli for fuck's sakes. That's an Aboriginal name, so that has nothing to do with me. Oh, God. <laughs> what, you, you don't like places named Kalgoorlie or Useless Loop? No, it's, they're, they're fair enough. It's fine. It's just the pronunciation. Okay. I, I actually had this conversation with Valine uh, yesterday, I think it was. Um, yeah, so just take the word crescent. Uh-huh. Right? Drop the T off the end, because that doesn't need to be there. Crescent. Right? So it's now it's crescent, right? And now now the first e, so cre, swap that out with, keep the keep, keep the cr, right? And then add wa into it. Croissant. Uh, croissant. Would you would no. you not rather hear us I'm just saying crescent that. rolls? <laughs> I would prefer you drop the the, the roll part. Sure. <laughs> Sam, it's literally <laughs> rolled up. Oh my god! My god! It's just a cr it's a croissant, okay? That's all you're getting. Okay, That's what okay, we well, say you know what? It, it, if you call it a crescent roll, now, it, now it's a cheesy burger. <laughs> How so do you feel about that? The, like, it, it, yeah, it comes up in chat, right? It, nobody's more <laughs> obnoxious saying uh, croissant than uh, Gates McFadden played Beverly Crusher oh, on Star Trek. God, yeah. yeah. yeah That's yeah. really all you want, isn't it? Coffee and croissant. I, I, you, oh, you obnoxious bitch. And I, I, Serpent 21 says she actually did Sara Lee Croissant commercials. That's hilarious at the same time, enraging. <laughs> did they hire her because of her flourish? I, fuck. That, that is one thing that's always kind of it upset me. me like, angry. It, it's, it's, it's the sort of the, uh, the lawyer ease. I want to say it's not even legalese, but you know, you know how certain lawyers who get very, you know, fucking up themselves, mm -hmm. and they start dropping the Latin, and they always put that little pause right before they drop the. <laughs> oh God, even even what what would you what would you say? I believe my my esteemed colleague is engaging in a ad hominem fallacy. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like fuck off. Ah. If you're gonna say ad hominem, just say ad hominem. It's it's it's, it's no big deal. You can just use the words. You don't need to. Flourish. <laughs> so far, I figured out the same way you can have an earworm, you can have a food worm. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, that sounded. Oh, I, I take that back. Hold on. That that yeah, yeah no, that, never call it that again. Yeah. Holy shit, Polly. Because there really are those things, and you don't want them. I yeah, you you do not want the food. I I I did get a donut, Sam. Two, in fact, and it it didn't oh, yeah. it didn't come close to scratching that itch. What what kind did you get? Did you get the holy ones? Uh, I got two um, uh, apple fritters, fresh. Nice, oh, nice. I went to the grocery store and went to the bakery, and they, they were right, still they warm out the oven. To do. Nice. Yeah. So, Best way to have them. So I only got the one, because I, I didn't eat them both right there. I had one, and then later on in the day, I had another when I actually had a cup of coffee with me. But like, I, just, I was watching an episode of yeah. Star Trek, and they brought up donuts, and I've been thinking about donuts ever since. It's, it's, it's like an earworm. And this is my favorite donut of all, the lemon-filled. I love them. Mm, lemon curd. Yeah, love that shit. Yeah, it's because lemon meringue pie is my favorite pie. I mean, mm -hmm. I like all fruit pies, honestly. Most of them, anyway. But uh, mm -hmm. the lemon meringues peak, and these are like little self-contained <laughs> lemon meringues. What's that? It even has peak. <laughs> if your lemon meringue pie ain't peaky, you've done it wrong. <laughs> gross? What do you mean gross, man? They're, they're fucking delicious. I'm, I'm not such this a fan the of the confectioner's <laughs> sugar here, but uh, I, I, I tend to like a they're glaze. They're heavy, then. Yeah, there's a bit much there, isn't it? But that's when I discovered these little bastards. Lemon-filled donut holes. Oh, my God. Oh, okay, that God. I might actually eat. That might be a donut I would eat. I think you probably quite like them. There's there's not an awful lot of substance yeah. there, so you, you know you can just have yeah, one Yeah, see, it's two, not going to be dry. It's yeah. not going to be dry, which oh, is usually my nothing. problem. Polly, you, you back me up on this. There's nothing worse than a dry donut. A donut that's been sat so long it's begun to oh. go stale and dry. Yeah, Blech. yeah, especially, especially if it's a cake donut, not one of the airy ones. You know, it's one of the, mm. the more dense cake donuts. Dry? Oh, yeah, you bite into it and the thing just fucking falls apart on you. Gamerly, thank you for the 350 That's about what a donut costs at 7-Eleven these days. Thanks, Biden. Uh, Holy fuck. Holy fuck. Hey, I saw the price of your bacon <laughs> discs. You, 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 pig discs. Thank you for the 350 gamer Uh The Crusher Croissant thing is why I asked, why don't they fuck already? Don't do this to me. That's right. No, that is right. She did She did message me. Sorry, Verlene. I did mean to bring that up uh, earlier on. Yeah. Okay, yeah, good. The, comp yeah. the comment that Verlene made in chat. That's what that was talking about. Yeah. Crusher and... and... Yeah. Somebody put a timestamp on something <laughs> for her? Like, we, we, Chad, if you're going to uh, say, hey, fuck you, Polly, you don't know what the fuck you're talking about, it, dick, uh, timestamp it. And now that I've said that, oh, absolutely. I've found out that people just timestamp me saying things and quote them in chat and then, or in the comments section and timestamp it. It's Oh, so they don't employ Junior. They're a bunch of smart asses. It's hilarious. I had some really good laughs. It was like, I take exceptional issue to what's going on here. And I clicked on it and it's just the extended bluesy jazz playing at the beginning. It's just time. <laughs> it's just time stamped to the center of it. <laughs> like, oh, you fucking smart ass, man. I, that was good. That was good. I, Okay, but now nobody's allowed to do it anymore because now we've talked about it. If you do it now, you're just, yeah, yeah the, the joke's dead, guys. <laughs> You're not allowed to do it anymore. Well, I'm done. Somebody had made a comment and I wanted to, I'm like, what? But luckily they had timestamped it. So I clicked on it to go see what they were talking about. And there's Gamer Valine in chat saying, why don't you two, f or why, yeah, why don't you two fuck already? I'm like, that was really rude. Why would you? I thought she was talking about Sam and myself. <laughs> we because we were you agreeing know, about Father's a married woman. So, you know, Valine would never say something so inappropriate to a married woman. Well, no, I, Remember, uh, 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 Bar was off at her social function. Oh, that's correct. Yeah. And she came in later. This was like, I don't know, a little bit before she came back. Uh huh. And the tone of the yes. show, you know, shifted up considerably after that point. Yeah, always does. <laughs> don't do what? Yeah, well, I mean, I fully expect BG to be down there. And it... <laughs> Fuck you, Polly. Sir, that you is told a stale to. donut of a joke. Yeah, yeah, just... <laughs> I, I don't know. I just, it's just, what the hell's going on here? Oh, having fun with donut. my three sons. What the fuck? 
I'm reminded of Kay's cooking. Yeah, honestly, right? that, that does give some Kay's cooking vibes, right? I completely forgot about that woman. I think those are... So they've made, what, the donut, they've taken the donut batter and presumably added lemon juice into it, and then... That's exactly what I think. Like I, I think it's like a, a lemon sponge yeah. cake in donut form. Yeah. Donut shape. Which doesn't I mean, I'm sound not, terrible. No, it I'm doesn't. Not it to just, it. It, With whipped cream in the middle. If you're going to use the donut shape, make a fucking donut. If not, just right. have a slice of sponge cake. Okay, let's see if I can do this. Hi, people. Today I'm making baked lemon donuts. <laughs> I hope my shitty son will like it. Yeah, that, that kind of fell off at the end there. But just... <laughs> so today, we're going to be making shitty lemon donuts in the oven for my crappy son, and hopefully he'll like them. <laughs> oh, Don't forget to like and subscribe. It's a bit crunchy. <laughs> I don't really like it. <laughs> I, I, I saw something that offended me, Polly. Uh, I think it's a little further up. I just... I, it's a ring. I love blueberries. I'm a big, big blueberry fan. I've never even thought nor heard of this. Like, kind of uh, the way a blueberry muffin is made. You know what I mean? Just sort of in, in the mix. And then a light glaze over yeah. it. That fresh with a coffee okay. that, that, that this this could be my jam in a big way <laughs> my jam uh, <laughs> <laughs> let's see what you did there uh, uh what are we looking for it was, uh, it was it was it was crispy it was a crispy it was a ring donut oh yeah the crispy cream one stuffed. yeah yeah this guy that that upsets me yeah it crispy cream's uh. new lemon stuffed donut oh right on the cutting edge there crispy cream no one's ever stuffed a donut with lemon before this this upsets me. It's like, look, if you want a ring donut, get a ring donut. If you want a stuffed donut, get a stuffed donut. Don't try and mix the two. I don't know. I think this is fine. Just it's it's crispy cream. That's the only problem. It's it's gonna be that weird marshmallowy, fluffy, creamy, weird shit that they put in like Twinkie rolls. Right. I was just gonna say the stuff that's nasty. in Twinkies or, or the shit yeah. that's on yeah, really again, bad grocery store birthday cakes. Right. The oil but not again, dairy that's what based I mean, frosting. Though. But that's what I mean, though. It's like it's just the fact it's fucking Krispy Kreme making this. If this was anyone else, it would probably be fine. And, and look, look, they they had to cut into it to show the cross section, all right? You know why? Because they couldn't find a motherfucker that'd take a bite. Oh man, we've all seen the way that they. I mean, that's what shaving cream. They cut the donut <laughs> fucking perfectly, and it's like it, it, look, look how it's like all just in there, just perfect, and it's not congealed or disgusting at all. You know, that's, uh, yeah. we know it's not real. Yeah. That's someone's yeah, shaving cream. Us. Like, this is real. It's oozing out, you know? Yeah. Looks yeah, a, little that a little thin. But... It does. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? It looks definitely like like these guys. They look like. Oh, wow. Those are. Oh, cremated. wow. Yeah, that is. <laughs> that... God. <laughs> I want it to like still be mooing. a snake. <laughs> See, I've, I've, I've had donuts on the brain for, uh... and it was such an innocuous line. Captain Archer just says, well, I don't think they're coming up for coffee and donuts. That's it. A week later, I'm still thinking about donuts. Honestly, I've had that with Big Macs. <laughs> <laughs> it's one of those really? weird, no, it's one of those weird moments <laughs> that where it's like you hear the radio ad, right? It's like they're advertising Big Macs, and I'm like, God damn, I know exactly what you fuckers are doing. I know what you fuckers are doing. I have an understanding of how ads work. It, it's just one of those weird things. It's like I just, I get it. I fucking get it. You uh, know? That's that's me I'm every like, time I see. Uh, for they, they... fuck's sake! Every time they. And then uh, I had they... one. Every time they start running the the seasonal adverts for the um for the fucking uh, you know the big tasty, it's not a tall burger, it's a wide burger. Oh, God, I'm listening to the burgers good. and it's like, no, don't miss out, big tasty now back at McDonald's, blah 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 blah, you know that kind of shit. And I'm like, I know what you guys are doing, but you're right, I do want one. Yeah, <laughs> the but then I had tasty. the Big Mac, right? And I was so disappointed because like the the bun tasted burnt. It just, it just did not taste like I remember Big Mac tasting. I'm like, oh, mm -hmm. that was a bit of a waste. Overwhelm your senses. 
I love how they've deposited the Thousand Fargo. Island dressing with a syringe at strategic points. You know, oh, and right, so it oozes And they right. strategically place those pickles. Oh, yes. Whereas, like, you know. Yeah, that's what it actually is. No, here's your fire <laughs> festival reality, fucker. Right. right. I don't oh, think God, I've look at this. Looks that bad. Priceless. <laughs> I don't no, think I've ever had better, one though. that looks... I'm sorry? That looks better than the... Sorry, sorry. Oh, good. I, I don't think I've ever had one that looks that bad, frankly. <laughs> I mean, maybe I've just lucked out. Maybe, maybe the maybe. you know minimum wage employees at the, the closest McDonald's to me, you know, maybe give a shit. Well, <laughs> maybe, they are French. maybe that's what it is. <laughs> All of these. Well, they are French, yeah. so they have their pride on the line. You see, <laughs> even if it is just a McDonald's job. All of these patties look remarkably dry as fuck. Like, yeah. look how dry they look here. Can, yeah, can, you're right. Can't you brush a little olive oil on them to make them look like they're um, sizzling delicious? Mm, a little glisten. Yeah. What yeah. the hell is this? That's a double bacon, oh big tasty. Oh my god. The Grand Tasty Turbo Bacon. I Well, it's they, um, Yeah, looks like I, it. They did, um, they did a fish version uh, of the Big Tasty. For a little while over here, oh, fill it. it, it well, yeah, but I mean, it was it was a big tasty bun with all the big tasty trimmings or what have you. But they had big bits of fish in there, and I quite I quite appreciated that. I, I figure you might uh, you might appreciate something like that, Polly. You like your fish sandwich, right? I do. I definitely do. Yeah, you like your fillet of fish. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's what? <laughs> Honestly, it, we do actually say fillet here. No, same here. <laughs> I, I know it's it's just I you, you remember me telling you about this right? I had never heard an Australian say fillet of fish, and it's like I, I can't do it. It's just there's something delightfully I, I don't know to hear an Australian say fillet of fish kills me. I, I just fillet of fish. The it was the guy who called up McDonald's their uh, customer service number and to thank them for making the McFish so disgusting. It was, it, it was, it, 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 the person on the other end of the phone was so confused. It was, it was hilarious. It wasn't, he wasn't exactly prank calling them. It was legitimate, right? And he's like, see, here's the thing. It's, like, it's Friday. I'm only going to eat fish, right? No, no meat on Fridays. And so uh, I, I want to thank you because the idea is that you're fasting. You're not supposed to like gorge yourself on fish, but you, so you, you offer this one fish sandwich, but it's so low quality. And it's so small and getting smaller <laughs> year by year that one is in effect fasting while eating your fish sandwich. Thank you. Philagulation, if you will. <laughs> he kept saying filet of fish and I was, I was trying to figure out what he was saying to her at the same time, just being struck with awe of like how he's doing this kind of, Rapidy tap scat style way of saying fillet of fish. I, I can't even do it. It was just I got I, I got to put that on my sound deck, man, on my stream deck. <laughs> but then I discovered the uh, the fish sandwich over at uh, Popeyes, and that's uh, like they got a good fish, fish sandwich? sandwich. Yeah, and like you would expect, yeah. it's kick ass because you know. Popeyes. I've How never had a are. bad thing from Popeyes except for the chips, but that's that's fine. I can air fry those. Oh my god! I really, um... every fish sandwich I've had from Popeyes looks better than everything I'm looking at right now. Wow. I really like Popeyes um, uh, batter. They, uh, they, they, they got the best. Man, batter something about opinion. it. There's just something about it, right? Where you just you eat it and you feel like, yeah, this is really fucking good. What the hell? Yeah, it's, it's um, they actually season the batter. Go figure. I a yeah. flounder, flounder sandwich. Now I try that. I quite like flounder. Yeah, I I don't know what their fixation is. It must be a Louisiana thing with the pickles, but I order it without the pickles because that's just weird. Oh yeah, yeah. Pickles and fish never really kind of go together. I mean, like tuna, tuna and pickles that works, but most of the fish, nah, not so much. Are you I one of those people that without pickles you, anyway? Are salad sandwiches a thing? Chicken salad, tuna salad, is that a thing in France? Oh sure. You're one of those weirdos who puts celery and onions in it, aren't you? Uh, not celery. I'm not actually all that stuck on celery. I it's 
you know, I, I gross people out with the whole, <laughs> so you know, oranges, they're just juice-filled hairs, right? Yeah, celery is like that for me, except it's hair that can't really be chewed through. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not a big fan. I'm just not. I... But onions, yeah, absolutely. Red onion on a, on a, on a salad. Ew. Yeah, absolutely. Well, the, yes, no. it's the onion that, that I don't like, for sure, because that's the devil's weed. Yeah. But it's the, again, I'm a texture guy. I don't want to bite into something that I expect to be soft and find crunchy bits in the middle. Oh. I like complex textures. Yeah, but I like the crunch. Yeah. I... My favorite flavor. You are right? <laughs> I'll tell you the thing that, that I, I, I've gotten to like too much is the popcorn, popcorn shrimp sandwich. Just the popcorn shrimp from Popeye's. So good. Can I just say, I do not like uh, shrimp in uh, it, it's got like a smooth batter. It's got to have all the little yeah, uh, fractalizations. What, what would you call those? Is there a you, you, you want it to have... You don't want it to ridges be smooth, grooves, smooth like KFC. It. You want it to have undulations <laughs> and ridges and whatnot, yeah, like yeah. Popeyes. I, what yeah. the fuck yeah. do you mean smooth like KFC? If you they, if you put a KFC drumstick next to a, a Popeyes drumstick, oh yeah, you'll see what's sm yeah, smooth by comparison. Are you talking about American KFC? Because I don't think it's like that here. You got the God. Your KFCs suck. Yeah, KFC they sucks. Do. There's no question. Yeah, like it's actually good here. What? The, like that's? I keep. I'm always amazed whenever I hear shit like that. You know, it's like it. Because it's actually good here. People actually like KFC here. I sure as hell don't. See the um. See there you go. The, that's holy shit. yeah. That, that is. It, see, it's pretty much flat. Yeah, there ain't a lot going on there, is there? No. No. What the fuck? I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not as bad as the kind of battering that I'm talking about with the shrimp, because it, it comes out looking like uh, you know, uh, you know, spring rolls or egg rolls. Yeah. They got the very, very smooth, yeah. uh, basically like pancake wrap around the outside. Mm -hmm. I yeah, don't like, like shrimp when it's yeah. I don't like batter on shrimp or any kind of seafood when it's all smooth like that. It's just like it's, this it's wrong. Even even that. Oh, those are chicken drumsticks. Okay. I thought those yeah. were shrimp. Yeah, if you just pu just pull up a picture of, of a fucking egg roll, you'll see exactly what I mean. Well, I know what an egg roll looks like. I guess just like yeah. a tube. Yeah. But that's not what you're seeing here. I mean, that's, 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 that could be, that could be noblier, I suppose. <laughs> Noblier. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It needs more Flavor. festuals. Flavor tools. Mm hmm. I just, uh, man, I, I'll tell you, their biscuits have gone to hell. Those things showed up frozen, didn't they? Mm. Now, I'm not expecting them to bake fresh every morning, but can you... Why the fuck not? Well, you're they not... could. They, they just don't want to. Oh, man. Yes. Oh, yeah. See, now that's what I'm talking about. Look at all the little the flavor tools on that. Yeah, that's where all the salt hides. Yeah. Was I doing? I, was, I thought I thought I was reading. Oh yeah, Far was supposed to pick an article like a while ago. No, I wasn't. Yeah, you were. Ladies' choice, remember? No, no, no. Apparently, I'm not a lady, so you know. But I'm not a gentleman. It's not that ladies' was the choice. Oh, God. I. This guy's face. I'm gonna what? fix this frame Thank thing. I so I I didn't watch anything from YouTube for like a week because I was like off at trying to hold together my comedically referred to life. Um, <clears throat> when I came back, I saw all the thumbnails and they all look exactly the same. Someone's stupid face making a stupid reaction with stupid faces floating around them. Fuck! I'm sick like of the formulaic thumbnails. Yeah. Right. Oh, good news though. Um, the YouTube format reverted. Oh, it did. Oh, yeah, did it? Like, fuck. Yeah, on its own. Nice. Yeah. All I had to do was go the fuck away for a week, and they're like, "Okay, fine, come back, Polly, come back." I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was destroyed. They knew. Yeah, they knew why I left. They knew what they did. 
Okay, so far. You can... Uh... I, I'm not choosing. Damn it. We need a... Sam, you need to furnish us with a, 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 a random number generator for any um, input set of possibilities. There's three possibilities, four, seven. All right. You see what I'm saying? I well, could yeah. just pick an arbitrary number <clears throat> now. No, you're not I random. I could roll a D20. You think... <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, what the hell? There's got to be D&D sites that allow you to roll a... They're absolutely, a, a yeah. D4, D3, D6, etc. Uh, do you, give, me, give me a number of articles and I'll roll a D whatever. There's four articles, Sam. Four. Okay, so I'll roll and, a D. And they're numbered one through four. Now, how are you going to divine what's what? I'm just going to go on rollerdie.net forward slash roll a D4 die and I'm going to click go. I see. Two. Simple Two. as that? No. Uh... Ten things that were common in the oh, past no. we couldn't imagine now. You see, Far, this is what happens when you don't pick. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> we can now no longer blame me, though, when, when it's uh, inevitably shit. <laughs> you can blame the dice. Oh, yeah. Spectral <laughs> Umbreon, you're damn... Yes, I hear you. We... Uh... It kind of happened at the same time. <clears throat> Sam was the one who informed all of us how to get rid of that stupid little emoti emoji generating button thing. Um, it's a little a heart thing to make a bullshit float up like we're all fucking 12 years old or something. Mm -hmm. We got rid of that, but at that same time, or right around that time, you became unable to capture chat anymore for streams. Google began mm -hmm. disallowing that. So now we got to figure out something alternative to be able to, I still want to capture chat. I just captured the window. Well, that's not very creative. How do you use your own custom font? You don't. Well, fuck that noise. Here's the neat part. Eh, it works. You don't. <laughs> right? Nah. You could use, you could use CSS. I've got, I've got a setup in my, uh, uh what'd you call it right now? In my, uh, Obis. Yeah, but so do I. That's... You've seen my CSS code, Sam. It won't. Mm-hmm. Um, display it. It would before I even put my CSS code on it. It just mm -hmm. won't display when you do a URL capture of a chat window. I don't know. I might as well try right now. Maybe it'll work again. After all, YouTube reverted. <clears throat> Maybe they changed their mind. The boom. Copy. Oop. That's not right. Talk about yourselves. Yourselves. Oh. That's what I, say. I apologize if any of this noise is coming through, but I currently have delightful pine martins scampering around in my roof. <laughs> what? you never seen yeah, a pine, pine martin, martin far? Oh, they're adorable, aren't they, Polly? Oh, they really are. Here, look. Yeah. They're related to ferrets and, and weasels and... Pine, I have you know, pine no martins. idea what the fuck you're talking about. Here, check it out. It's a pine martin. Oh! Oh my god! Aren't they adorable? Aren't they delightful? <laughs> I, I, th I thought you were fucking with me. Like, it, it was the name of, like, some dude or something. No, no, no. <laughs> Sa Sam's got a bunch of these in, in his attic. Mm -hmm. Oh, my God. Look at them. Yeah, they're... they're uh, Look at them. They're so they're, they're... cute. Holy shit. <laughs> they're, they're, they're Kefki's countryside cousins. <laughs> <laughs> Kefki's European cousins. Uh-huh. Well, I, I think you've got them all over North America as well. Uh, I don't believe that there are any in Oslo. Well, there wouldn't be. Mm. Not unless you introduce them for whatever mm. reason. Yeah, they are just... vaguely otter-like, except for the whole aquatic thing. But they, uh... well, uh, Mustelidae, so They're related young. species, right? Mm -hmm. To me, they I, I I call them fox coons because they look like a cross between a fox yeah, and a raccoon. Yeah, yeah midway between like yeah. a furt and a red panda. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I see the red panda. And they got these ball brush tails, and they run so oh fast, and they're delightful. And they're, they're and they're in your roof. Yeah, yeah, they um, they, <laughs> they're, 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 they're they're woodland creatures, you know, and they eat bugs. So uh, they're they're welcome to stay as long as they like. I just wish they'd keep the noise down up there. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome to stay, but can we make a schedule or something? Fuck. <laughs> I, I... They um, they're they're really quite small. They're, they're, a lot of these pictures aren't really doing them justice in just how small they are. They're not as big as a ferret. 
He looks like he's scheming. Oh, they you're, scheme. You're yeah, right. <laughs> Like, hmm. Now, if I sneak in through here, I will get all the coffee. Look at his little face. Yeah, he's he, he looks like uh, I know you got some food there. You got some food. You want to share that food? Right. <laughs> and has Chesapeake is what I'm fucking seeing right there. I've never heard of a Martin. A M A R T E N. This is a pine Martin. I've never even heard of it before. Sam mentioned it the other day. Yeah, that mm -hmm. kind of gives you a clue of how small they are yeah a little bit more scale there a, a little like, bit yeah, it's tiny they're small <laughs> I, I, I don't know if there are other types of martin other than pine martin i i assume there are we just well we've i mean if it's called a pine martin them. right like it's two words to describe one greeting you would assume there's a bunch of them right well, presumably presumably i've just i've never heard of anything other than a pine martin and at least you know in english because in French, we just prefer to them all as math. The Martins yeah. in Canada are large and eat fish. Okay, so these are their really? diminutive ones. So, really? They look like a stalker. I mean, you, the size of their ears, they look sleek. They look mm. like they, you know, they. Is that something to eat over there? You know, that kind of. He looks stylish. It looks like he's got like a, a turtleneck rocking or something. Right. No, they're uh, they're real classy and such. I, I, I presume they eat things other than bugs, but um, uh, you know as well, because uh, they're, they're obviously you know weasels, their uh, larger cousins. They eat you know rabbits and all sorts. There's a Dean Mart. Oh, you son of a bitch, <laughs> motherfucker! I had to say it out loud before I. <laughs> it's known for being drunk. As I walked out in the street. <laughs> of the woodland. <laughs> so yeah, far we weren't fucking with you. There's, uh, it's, 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 yeah, okay. He's, he's yeah, hearing the scampers. Right. <clears throat> They're delightful. Ten things that were common in the past that we couldn't imagine now. Uh, uh, I'm going to. Uh, uh, let me see. I want to take a stab at this. Oh, I know. Amputation as a curative. <laughs> um. Never mind. Uh, deadly chemicals in makeup. Nice. Uh, I got a hangnail. Uh, oh, well, your arm's coming off. Right at the shoulder. Right. <laughs> um. Free speech. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <Not you>. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> We can all agree that our uh, blah blah blah, um, legal drug use. Okay, that's, that's a misleading I mean, subtitle. A little, but it's a good photo though, man. Those people look disheveled. I did. Mm. Mm -hmm. It's all the cocaine, or lack thereof. Yeah. Right. Oh, no, we still amputate for health, but like I'm saying, Valine, like, it, it, it's more like, uh, all right, see you later, Ron Corpse. Uh, yeah, later. It's a, you got a hangnail. Well, the whole arm's coming off. Oh, I I, I sprained my ankle. Yeah, it's well, like there the goes your leg. extremeness. Yeah. Like, it, it's the, like, extremes, really, yeah. of, of oh. how far they took it. Give you a piece I've of leather one. to bite on while they go at you with a rusty saw. Yeah. I've yeah. got one. Leeches. You think they're going to go? No, they still use leeches. I think they're going to be sticking around the time period that we're in right now, like like 1900 oh, to possibly. 1940 is, I'm, I'm well, guessing. Here's the thing. Um, uh, Stalin died of a stroke, yeah? If you it, believe what you read. Yeah, well, uh, apparently um, they, um, one of the, uh, the, they used leeches to try and uh, alleviate the uh, pressure on his brain. Apparently. Okay. According to the according to the medical report or what have you that was dug up after the fact, yeah. So yeah, that's I mean that's what. When when did Stalin die? Late fifties. Uh, I think it was late fifties. I believe it would have been early because Khrushchev was in by the late fifties and he wasn't the immediate successor to Stalin. Yeah, because he was what well, basically the uh, the the. Um, Secretary of the Interior at the time, or something like that, it was a sort of equivalent, equivalent title, wasn't he, Khrushchev? Hmm. I mean, yeah, it doesn't anyway, really matter sorry. with the Soviet Party, but yeah, still. Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. Yeah. No, I was. Uh, I, I was. Uh, I, 1953, I, kind of... I think. Oh, I was right. There we go. Yeah, there we go. And Outsan is a just in tonight alone we've discovered is a far better fact checker than Jamie Freighter. I. Mm-hmm. Mm. Four hundred thousand soldiers said were said to be addicted to opiates during the U.S. Civil War. What? Okay. 400,000 soldiers were said to be addicted to opiates during the U.S. Civil War. Really? O opiates were commonly available to the point where there were 400,000 addicts? That, that, no, that kind of uh -huh. tracks. I mean, opium's been it around does. for thousands of years. How do you explain cutting off all the limbs with no anesthesia then? Because the doctors were taking the opiates. <laughs> right. Well, you you got to get through the gore somehow. Yeah. Have you ever seen the photographs in the Civil War of the piles of limbs? Horrifying. Uh, I've seen one or two, Sorry. and that was enough for me. True, true. Like right outside the I've, medical I haven't tent. seen it, but I don't want to see it. No, you really don't. It's a darling yeah. stuff. It's, yeah. It, I'm not even cracking jokes. It's, it's, it's like, shut up time. You know what I mean? It's like, wow. Yeah. 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 That's, that's really something to see. Um, okay. Bizarre as it may sound today, it was widely believed that the addiction wouldn't occur if they injected the drugs directly into the vein because they wouldn't reach the stomach. <laughs> We're going to have to trust Jamie oh. on that, which is not a good idea. I... Dating back to early times. I mean, I could believe it, though, to be honest, that that was a belief. But at the same time, oh, jeez. I this guess a... I, it's a, I. This could be very much AI generated, like you know. Are, are, can you picture a bunch of people that are making sloosh, like they're frying up the uh, uh, salt pork that they get, combining it with the portion of flour that they get in their ration, making this dough out of it, wrapping around the ramrod for their fucking musket, and frying it or cooking it over the fire? Very common thing to eat while out on the march like mm. uh, half of all the things you ate were hardtack or sloosh and a bunch of them had syringes this just, 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 yeah, i'm just no, not i'm just not tracking track. with this i didn't yeah that doesn't I, track <laughs> like you might be right i'm not an expert on the civil war i just find that very surprising probably it, go to what the quartermaster or the or the, the the company doctor and get one of the silver syringes that they used right the reusable or the reused, I should say, syringes. In a, this was before we. And it's like, well, the, the they had a whole bunch of addicts. I'm surprised they didn't have a whole bunch of missing limbs from gangrene and infections when you're all sharing the same needle and sterilizing nothing. Well, that's one of the beauties of silver stuff, right? We uh, we understood that a long time ago. Silver is oh, very, 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 very potently antibacterial. That's a fair point. I forgot about that until you mentioned it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. The touche. Not uh, that it wouldn't have happened, you know, you know, detritus on the needle would, would be enough, but yeah, yeah. Lessened by the effect of silver, I would have thought. Dating back to early times, many mood-altering drugs were easily available with or without a doctor's prescription. A doctor's prescription in ancient times, of course. As women were deemed the weaker sex, we now clearly understand this to be the case, they were prescribed drugs abundantly for a wide variety of their natural ailments. Uh, there is little wonder that women were reported to be addicted to these drugs at three times the rate of men. After all, they're fucking crazy. Some of the more outlandish women's conditions that these drugs were used uh, included sexual exhaustion, ticklishness, cracked nipples, boredom, homesickness, hysteria, and vomiting from pregnancy. Quick, smoke some opium. <laughs> yeah, have some crack. You're vomiting from pregnancy. Yeah. Fucking Christ. It was also common for women to get cocaine injections to make them more lively and talkative and to hold oxygen parties to inhale nitrous oxide. Ooh, a giggle To make fest. them talk more and giggle more. These doctors have clearly not spent very much time around women. <laughs> yeah, I, have, you, have you never been to a sorority party? I mean, y you hand out the fucking spice pumpkin fucking vodka and uh, giggly and talkative. Holy shit. You, the squeals get to absolutely inaudible levels. I, 
number nine. We should have guessed this far. The barber. Uh, oh, Baba no. Yeah, like barber in the European medieval sense of the word. Engaging in barbarism. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Shut up. Really? What? The connection. Barbarism. Uh, no, 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 no. That's a, that's a Roman thing. Barbarian, it, right? Because I had like, assumed, but yeah, yeah. Okay. No, no. I was I was punning. <laughs> <laughs> All good, Polly. <laughs> I should perhaps have uh, used a slightly different inflection there. <laughs> In need of a shave or a haircut? Been meaning to. Yeah, no, the barbers didn't really do that. They just. They they did everything. Mm -hmm. At any rate, that is what we are going to try to do. Gervlin, thanks you for the tree fifty. The military still hands out coating cough syrup for bronchitis and a thirty-day supply of Vicodin for root canals, like it's candy. Fuck. Holy shit. Vicodin, no shit. There ain't no lean like military green. <laughs> 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 It, it it's become like an expected thing for laughs when um steve1989 the guy who does all the mre reviews that i watch when he mm -hmm. goes into um survival packs and three-day ration packs that, that that kind of stuff um mm. especially stuff that isn't strictly food when there's other equipment and things of that sort in there right invariably there's amphetamines along with yep painkillers and um, uh, water purification tablets and shit like that, right? And in, invariably, there's amphetamines in there and they're gone. <laughs> <laughs> Everything else is intact, but the speed's gone. But the amphetamines. Yeah. <laughs> Which is wild as well, because then water purification tablets are extremely useful and, and kind of expensive to buy, you know, outside of the fucking packs like that. Yeah. Oh, Outsan, you watched uh, Steve 1989? Yeah, he is a treasure indeed. Oh, it, it's, absolutely. He is... He has the most chill passion ever. It's, it's like highly intelligent Shaggy is telling you about MREs. That, that's kind of his vibe. <laughs> He's not a that's dumb... Really good. That's good. That's good. Oh, oh, like zoinks, the amphetamines are gone, Scoob. <laughs> <laughs> and he really knows his business. Like he he knows MREs. He knows what, uh, the history of them and and what should be expected. And uh, he gets the pictures and does the research. And not just for American MREs, everybody's MREs. And he loves trading yeah. and his, his knowledge. Is but he's so chill about all of it. You would think this is like I, I, something he doesn't take seriously. It's like no, that's just his demeanor. That's that's what makes him so fun to watch. He's great. He's done. Um, he's done pretty much all of the NATO ones uh, now. He's done uh, like Finnish ones. Uh, did some Rusky ones a few, few, yeah, uh, a couple it, of years back. I want to say it. Th that's Good what stuff. gave me my uh, deep empathy for Australian soldiers and the bullshit they put up with in their MREs. <laughs> they, oh God, it's no wonder they never want to go to war. Oh, it's it, it, <laughs> it. Somebody went down to a local Walmart or grocery store, whatever, and just bought snack packs of stuff. And put it together in a big Ziploc bag, basically. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, that sounds about right. It's it's <laughs> that really does sound terrible. right. Terrible. Like everybody else seems to have done the the math of it, the thought. Uh, uh, this many calories that have that are made up of this much protein, these this many carbohydrates, uh, these electrolyte drinks, et, et cetera, et cetera. Cold weather rations, hot weather rations. The Australians pack of snacks. It's it's terrible. It's really terrible, man. Like, well, I, I, you know, a bunch of blags living outdoors. I'm sure they'd be able to catch something to make up the difference. <laughs> <laughs> They're expecting them to, you know, yeah, root, just, root like, for just roots. Just give them some flour and water. They'll make damper. Yeah. They'll be fine. Yeah. That's all you need for that. They don't have canteens. They just have goon bags that are empty. <laughs> Put your fucking water in it, mate. <laughs> Yeah, so, I mean, barbers, if you didn't know, at this time, were just general, loosely said, medical practitioners. Dirties. Yeah, they fixed what ailed you. Like they, they did bleeding and uh, home remedies. What we would, everything. What we would call home remedies. Like, you know, the tinctures and the... Um, Ointments. Yeah, ointments, yeah. Uh, uh, 
tourniquet wraps and shit like that, but they also pulled teeth and did minor surgery and uh, killed a lot of people, no doubt. <laughs> well, they, they did have ready access to a lot of uh, you know, highly distilled alcohol and all that kind of thing, so, you know. Yeah, yeah. I They, they remind me of um, uh, uh, Frontier Dentists, like yes. in the old West, where it's oh, like... Yes. The powders and uh, chemicals that they had access to were pretty remarkable, considering the state of medicine and how they used them. I, they're ripping out fucking teeth with uh, slamming a door with a string tied to the doorknob and the other end tied to your tooth and slam the door and pull your tooth out. I said, yeah. I, I, but you guys I, have I, like precision equipment and painkillers and shit. What the fuck are you doing? I like my jazz musicians to improvise. I like even some of my computer technicians to improvise. I do not want my surgeon to improvise. <laughs> oh god, right? So yeah, this... Uh, uh... Imagine you go to the dentist nowadays, right? And your dentist is like, okay, so we've got to rip the tooth out. Um, you stay right there. I've got this string. And I'm going to tie it to your tooth. And we're just going to see what happens. Yeah. Like, that'd be frightening. <laughs> like, I mean, holy shit. What was the... I mean, they had access to all this stuff. Is it Was it so expensive that they just gen, didn't generally want to buy it? Um, was the precision equipment too heavy and bulky to take along with you and your satchel out to the front? I, I, don't, I don't know. I'm not really sure what the hell's going on there. And even though John Holiday, Doc Holiday is my favorite personages from person from the from Western history, by that time he had left dentistry behind. He was a sporting man by the time he had made it to the frontier. He was only a dentist in, in Georgia. So it's like, even though the guy I read a hell of a lot about it. Georgia wide up. <laughs> Very green. <laughs> uh, tree panning. I forgot about this, was also rather popular. This would entail drilling a hole in the head to serve as a treatment for such things as headaches, abscesses, and dementia, mental illness, and all of the various other things women suffer from. It was also <laughs> used to let out evil spirits. Oh, says you. <laughs> the weird part, the, the bit that always got me about trepanning was like, for some conditions, yes, it actually did help. <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. That's, the, that's the thing, right? Like, it, it oddly did work for some things it's it's almost like uh, the other one was that gets me is a uh, snake oil uh salesman the reason why that's uh why that's kind of a you know like a someone that's selling fake cures it's not because snake oil didn't work for certain things it's because they were selling fake snake oil <laughs> <laughs> and claiming the breadth of application that it had like it was oh yeah panacea. the universal cure-all it's like no it did work for some things assuming it was real snake oil that you were buying mm, but it yeah. wouldn't uh bring your dead wife back it wouldn't uh, it wouldn't regrow a limb right give you luck make you a better shot at whatever grow your teeth back one guy claimed that it will help your teeth grow back if you apply it to your gums every day <laughs> oh my god that's, that's some mlm shit <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> it cure erectile dysfunction <laughs> uh number eight <laughs> capital punishment is entertainment um Nice picture you got there. Yeah. Entertainment or morbid curiosity? That's going to be a really shitty hack job, quite literally. His head's not even on the block properly. Come on. I just can't take my eyes off his shoes. You're not even using the right thing. Like, is that an axe or a hoe? It's a headsman's axe. It's a what axe? A headsman's axe. Like that? Yeah. Really? Yeah, it's got to, got to have a broad blade on it, you know. <clears throat> well, it's not a very broad blade. It's a pretty narrow one, Doesn't actually. Look like it. Yeah. I mean, it's long, but it's not broad. Hmm. Let me compare that to a to a, a hatchet, though. I was like the uh, the uh, the whole thing about like uh, headsman swords and that kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah, you know, very very rarely used. Typically reserved for no, for, for nobility, you know try and get one quick clean cut as opposed to you know what the peasants got which is being hit you know 40 times in the neck <laughs> public executions but, uh, during medieval times were carried out in front of large crowds of spectators to demonstrate that the crime would not be tolerated rumor has it that the public holidays were often declared 
as a way to increase attendance, rumor has it, from all your medieval oh. friends. I... Mm -hmm. Right, because those are common. Right. I, either you've got a document where somebody said that, reported that, wrote it in a diary or whatever, but what do you mean rumor has it? We're around the medieval campfire? What the fuck? I mean, I have a time machine, but I, you don't. And I still can't take my eyes off his shoes. I can't take a headsman seriously who's wearing elf shoes. <laughs> he is wearing elf shoes, isn't he? Yeah. He's missing <laughs> like little bells on the toes. Yeah. Just so, he can, so he can hook the, <laughs> hook the end of his boot in the nostril, you know, kick the head away. <laughs> Hanging was one of the most okay. common methods of execution, so much so that most towns and villages had permanent gibbets erected in the central location. I Would you call that a good use of the word gibbet? I would have picked gallo. A, well, well, a, a gibbet is a particular thing, isn't it? It's, uh, it's, not, just, uh, it's not just the gallows, it's the, the cage that goes around the body. To stop people cutting it down and running off with it. See, but that's what I took a, a gibbet to be, was the, um, the encasement of a body in... Yeah. It, be it a very small cell or a, a, like an Iron Maiden cage of a, a small sort, like, that would be a gibbet. I had thought. Okay. I don't. I don't know. I don't. I don't have much use for it that word. As far as I'm aware, yeah. No gallows would would be the would be the proper way to use. I mean, this is just, why why even do it this way? Like, I mean, even if you want to do strangulation hanging, not neck breaking hanging, you don't want to go through all the trouble to set up trap doors and blah blah blah, right? So you're just gonna do right. strangulation hanging. That's not that hard. And more reliable, and uh, if you're doing a public... Less bloody? Less bloody, and if you're trying to do a public spectacle, as uh, uh, Jamie here claims, the hanging is going to give you, especially by strangulation, a much better spectacle. A longer one, that's for sure. Yeah. It takes a long time to die from strangulation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I remember uh, there was a, some Scottish criminal uh, was, was to be hung. Uh, um, or hanged rather, um, and uh, then it was uh, to be a strangulation one rather the rather the neck break, and uh, yeah, two of his uh, compadres ran up to to his body and uh, and like jumped up and hung on to try and break his neck quicker because that's how much they respected the guy. Right. They wanted him to die quickly. Like that's <laughs> like they can't get you out of the hanging, but they want you to die quick. Like yeah. that's loyalty. <laughs> Sam, yeah, I can't oh, get you out of here, but I brought you these really heavy shoes. <laughs> Honestly, you know what? I'd, I'd respect that. I'd respect that. I would. I would. I'd appreciate that if they... <laughs> uh, hanging was one of the most common methods of execution so much so... Oh, right. Uh, decapitation was another popular form of capital punishment especially for noblemen and noble women if you were lucky the executioner would get the job done on the first try if his axe or sword was dull or he was just careless it could be it could take multiple strikes to achieve the desired goal reportedly a convicted countess received 10 blows before the fatal strike okay that is systematic incompetence systemic incompetence yeah, holy that's, crap. that's bad N? I, I should yeah. tell you about Yukio Mishima one time far. There's a harrowing tale. Fascinating guy who wanted to return to feudal Japan in the uh, 1970s. And he, it's, I'm not even making fun of the guy. He, it, it, it's really tragic the way that he died. Yeah. When his, uh, I'm going to describe this fast and loose. Uh, this is not accurate and not intended to be. When his revolution had failed, um, the honorable option that was still open to him was to take his own life. And in the traditional method, that would mean seppuku or you know, cutting his gut, yeah. right? So he has a second there and it, it, it just went wrong and wrong and wrong. He, he didn't, he was an expert swordsman. But he cut himself in such a way that he just, he didn't die. So he was just moaning in pain. And his second was, uh, who was also an expert swordsman, couldn't seem to get the right angle. So like he would, he didn't really cut his head off as much as he hacked it off. Imagine that with a katana. Oh, Jesus. Like it's, 
someone's going to move once you hit them, right? They're not going to stay in the kneeling position because the idea is you've, you've more or less, again, I'm not trying to be accurate here, just trying to get the point out, you you more or less fall, full, uh, lean over on your sword once you've cut yourself in, front, in the kneeling position, right? So then you're, the back of your neck is kind of exposed. But sort of the way he fell over, he was kind of like chasing after him a little bit as he rolled over onto one side. His body was just a mess. Convulsing and, yeah. It would, he hit him in the shoulder a few times because that got in the way and it's, wow, guys, this was, whew, tragic, tragic story. Mishima, poor guy. Um. Uh, so yeah, a reportedly convicted count is 10 blows. Uh, decapitated heads were sometimes known to be impaled on stakes or displayed indefinitely to serve as a reminder that law and order would prevail in that particular town. Grave robbing in the name of science. Gotta get the cadavers from somewhere. Well, yeah, right? I... But even at the time, though, like, it's common, but no one liked it. No one liked grave robbers? No. No, that was a crime. No, they did not. No, I, I like, certainly not. I'm just, I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just like, keeping in mind that those... this is 10 things that were common in the past that we couldn't imagine now. A bunch of... But I could totally imagine people going grave robbing right now. I, that's exactly what I'm saying. A bunch of fucking wicked morons online that want to sell yeah, human bones you for your heard? rituals. Uh, I... Yeah, have you not heard, heard of the fucking Berengazi? <laughs> <You did the, laughs> yeah, that's right. That, yeah, that was. <laughs> yeah, like sure, she wasn't technically, you know, digging up the graves. It was just that the Earth was giving her the bones. <laughs> that was her actual excuse. Yeah. It was just, yeah, the Earth was providing me with these human bones, and I would go and sell on Facebook. <laughs> That story oh, had wicked rituals. And have you heard this story, Sam, about this person? I have, yeah. I it has everything of a modern story of this, like you know, the person buying you know bones for their half-ass wicked rituals. And I'm not saying there aren't rituals that require bones. It's just oh, what sticks, hex, and hammer volume that you bought online, badly translated garbage are you operating out of for your little ritual? That that I'm interested in alone. Um, do you have an authentic Parker Brothers Ouija board to go with it? I, the the half-assery of that, but the outrage over it, it wasn't the desecration of human remains. And the whole reason you need bones is because not, why not animal bones? Because there's a, a power in human bones, etc. depending on which kind of Wiccan tradition you're coming from. But the, mm -hmm. the, the reason why you're going to um, be upset with somebody desecrating a grave in this way is because you're desecrating human remains, not of just strict human dignity, but the power that bones have and the, the human remains have. That's not why they were upset. They were upset because it was a black graveyard and it was racist. Yeah, that's exactly why. And she was it's white. It was, it was, yeah. <laughs> like, it's the perfect yeah, it modern the story. No, well, the extra part was like, wasn't it like the poor section of the graveyard? So, like, this is a new New Orleans, right? Yeah. Where, like, there was you have to bury below bodies sea level. in a specific way so this exact thing doesn't happen. But obviously, they didn't do that in this instance because the bones were rising up from the ground. Yeah, it's, I mean, a lot of New Orleans is below sea level. It, next time it rained, they floated up as they often did, and this person was scavenging for bones and then selling them online. I, I it, it turns yeah. and the biggest problem that everybody had was not the desecration of the remains on like their Wiccan value level, but that it was racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, if it was hoodoo, they'd have been fine with it, you know. <laughs> right. Like, if, it, if the practitioner had been black, would you be okay with it? If it had been a poor white graveyard, would you be okay with it? I Probably and probably, honestly. What a great It's the fact Tumblr that it was story. a white girl doing that. Yeah. Oh, it was fan it's fantastic. But yeah, like, the point is, though, like, this still happens, guys. Yeah. I, like, I, this, I have no trouble like, figuring this, this out. This is still a very common thing. Like, hell, sometimes it's even people scare like running scam uh funeral homes I was, right i was just about to and say saying, they don't need to go body, to the graveyard this, your family member's body is being uh dedicated to science right and they're just selling the body on the black market for whatever the fuck reason yeah 
remember the bodies that got shipped oh, off to so like hot. Eastern Europe in the Middle East? And it's like, what the fuck for? What are they doing with them? You know, who knows? Yeah. Grandpa's off in Romania. Yeah. Like, it still happens. Like, this isn't, I don't think this belongs on this fucking list. Yep. Especially since like everything else, it's like, yeah, this was legal. This was legal, right? This has always been illegal. Like, this is always, in, in the countries that they are probably ref referring to here, right? This shit has always been illegal. It doesn't belong on this fucking list, even if it was common. And illegal for a whole bunch of things, assuming that you're, um, you're going to trespass to get there. Yeah, if, if you it's, already if, have if, one crime. Yeah, if it's not a mass grave, it's a standard cemetery, it's going to be around a church. Like, if we're talking, like, small towns throughout Europe, right? It's going to be, it's going to be near the church. Which means you're going to have to trespass to get there. Which means you're going to have to, like, you're committing an act of sacrilege to do it. I, yeah, you're in all kinds of trouble. Like, no, it hasn't always been, it's always been bad. It's always been wrong. And it, it's been a long tradition to provide a beautiful and moving funeral ceremony to honor the lives of, okay. Uh, as science yeah, shut and, up. Shut the fuck yeah, up. get to the point. <laughs> as science and medicine prog I'm one to say get to the point fuck as science and medicine progressed it was determined that knowledge of human anatomy would be very beneficial to mankind due to that thirst to understand where things were and how they worked in the human body there was this is not written by AI it'd be smoother reading if it were there was soon a <laughs> shortage of cadavers to dissect Initially, the main source of bodies came in from executed criminals. When demands exceeded supply, body snatchers came in. They would dig up a large number of bodies under the cover of darkness. Uh, the night after they were buried, the corpses would then be sold to anatomists to dissect while they were still somewhat fresh. While the grave robbers couldn't keep up with the demand, medical students would sometimes take the cadavers themselves. Some were even caught and convicted for it. In the most desperate times, corpses were hijacked from funeral processions. <laughs> Everyone stay where you are. Give me the goods. I... <laughs> Nobody move or we'll take you too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Or you'll become a corpse too. Yeah. All right. Who wants to get dissected? Yeah, to move a muscle. <laughs> As a side note, Leonardo da Vinci was known for. Having dissected many cadavers, he made a number of important discoveries and was able to produce extremely detailed drawings that greatly enhanced the education of medical students. Yeah, he... That has nothing to do with the above, though. Besides it being, you know, oh yeah, he dissected bodies. I would watch Why a movie about that, too. That? I, I, the body heisters. I... Oh yeah, you would, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Excursions of the body that. heisters. Okay, you know what? <laughs> this is probably going to be painful, but I won't make it painful for you guys. I happen to know a lot about the rules and formality around dueling. I can't wait to see how bad uh -huh. Jamie fucks this up. <laughs> but I promise I will not make it painful for you guys. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear me go on and on about this. The gauntlet or glove has been thrown. The words have been uttered. Quote, I challenge you to a duel. The challenged has signified his acceptance by picking up the gauntlet. All that is left is to determine the time, place, and the weapon of choice. Early on, those choices would have been some type of sword, then rapier as fencing became more popular, and later the pistol. The duel was a popular way for the refined, sophisticated gentlemen to defend their honor and reputation for centuries. The insults that brought on the contest were frequently trivial. It... Okay. I take... I guess they don't understand what an affair of honor is. Yeah, not trivial. If it was a trivial affair, you just punch the guy. Right. I mean, <laughs> it's the matter would seem small, but that's not the point. The point is that it damages your credibility in such a way that you are no longer functional, and that's why you are willing to duel over it for satisfaction, lest you pick up and go pretend to be someone else, to be someone else somewhere else. Like, it's that serious. Right. Like, yeah. To be called a cuckold or something along those lines. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's, mm. it, yeah, it's a, a trivial thing in the sense that, like, all of this over this, uh, it's not the actual matter. It's whether it undermines your ability to function anymore around those people. Mm -hmm. 
hence the phrase, I demand satisfaction. And meaning uh, this has got to be fixed. But anyway, um, uh, we're often trivial. It could have been for something... It could have been for something as ridiculous as saying you don't like someone's clothing. Strict rules were in place to try and prevent the death of the participants, but they weren't always successful. In ancient time, judges were known to order two individuals to participate in a judicial, a judicial duel or trial by battle as the way to settle their disputes. The judicial system. Yeah, that that was that wasn't <laughs> that was unexpectedly rough. I. <laughs> <laughs> I, and they said n nothing of the formality of uh, having seconds and, and the, the, how much care was put into the picking of a place because you don't want to do it on either one of your own properties. You, you, you leave both of your own counties to do it for a whole host of reasons. You certainly don't tell oh, your grand advantage. Yeah. You, yep. You do not want your, uh, uh, your family there. It's an extremely isolated event. Because everybody who is there is literally a witness to a murder if things follow their course. So mm -hmm. the less people, the better. Yeah, I Right, and you don't want, you know, someone's brother, you know, who's not the second, going, You just killed my brother, you bastard! A, yeah. a great you case study of it is the, the famous one in American history, uh, Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. Mm. I, the man was after satisfaction for years before it came to a duel. The formal letters that they sent back and forth, the demand for an apology, that etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, etc. And it was illegal, and went off to the island that they that they did uh, away from bo where both of them lived. It it's a fascinating study of something that in relatively recent times. I mean, they're speaking the same language that we are, etc. Right? It's I don't know. This makes it sound like uh, I don't know. Something you'd see in a Bugs Bunny cartoon, like when Bugs would slap the guy across the face with his glove. And uh, how dare you, sir? You know, that, that whole thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. I want a set of dueling pistols and have them on my mantle. I think that'll dissuade people from dumb shit in my house. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, Lady duels as well. Lady yeah. duels. They happened. Yes, they did. I... Yes, they did, and but I refuse to believe that women ever got in whip fights. What? <laughs> There's this, uh, the actress who plays Deanna Troy on Star Trek: Next Generation, uh, Marina Sirtis. Uh, Marina Sirtis. Yeah, she she's a, she was in a bunch of really trash fucking movies. Most of them made by Ken Films. Uh, before she landed that role in Star Trek, and basically she was. She was a topless for most of her roles because, you know, it's what we need you for, right? And I, I, the trash, one of the trashiest B-movies I've ever seen, there's Marina Sirtis and another woman in a whip fight. They, they've each got a bull whip <laughs> and they're standing, I don't know, seven, ten paces from each other and they're crack, 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 crack. And unsurprising to anybody who's thinking their clothes are shredded rather quickly and they're whip cracking each other in the basic nude of course it was course. just it's, it was the most retarded thing far it's it's comically stupid but it's supposed to they play it like it's you know life and death yeah, you know true. what i mean <laughs> it's, uh, life and death whip fight yeah. loser has no clothes <laughs> yeah i it, it it it's bad too like one of them will get hit and it's clear that the clothes are breakaway if you know what i mean like this, oh it, oh no the sleeve is held on either just stuffed up there and not really attached to anything or by small amounts of velcro or whatever right and there's clearly like fishing line or a string that's attached to the cuff of the sleeve so crack and then poof the sleeve comes flying off <laughs> <laughs> oh, piece no. by piece their, their their clothes are getting torn up while they're having this like i said i refuse to believe that women ever got whip fights man it's a bit like the it was it catherine catherine zeta jones i think in one of the zorro films where he just does the with the with the with the fucking rapier and then her clothes fall off was really? that catherine zeta jones am i remembering that right uh help me out here chat 
I don't know why, but I keep thinking of that that heist movie that over stylized thing she made with Sean Connery, and I'm like, Sean Connery hit her with a whip naked. I clearly I'm mixing things. <laughs> Yes, it was her. Yeah, Eric says you're right. Uh, ancient times. Okay, uh, extremely slow, dangerous travel. Right. I mean, like when I walk to the okay. grocery store. <laughs> <laughs> the southern border. Well, that is an adventure every time. <laughs> Getting from point A to point B was a challenging task in medieval times. It's hard to imagine. I'm not just medieval times. Like until quite recently, it was. Stop, stop relating it back to medieval times every fucking time, article writer, please. And nobody ever brings up the low and high Middle Ages. It's not like that was a golden time. I, it's hard to imagine the difficulties that were faced when traveling. In modern society, there are a number of options at our disposal, but in these days, the choices were very limited. Traveling by foot would be one option. Thanks. It would let you cover approximately 24 to 40 clicks or 15 to 25 miles in a day. Another option would be to travel by horse. Uh, this would be a little bit better. Uh, sailing, if possible, would be a little bit faster than you're subject to weather. Um, then you're stuck on a boat with a woman in her never ended yapping. The length of the, but, you know, disposal at sea, am I right? The length of the journey <laughs> wouldn't be the only problem. Uh, if there was no inn or other safe place to take refuge to the night, travelers would often have to sleep outside in the elements. Food and drink could run out or spoil. Accidents or illness could occur. And there was always the worry of robbery or worse. Sailing would have been dangerous as well. Many wooden ships would not have been able to withstand the pummeling dangerous storms. Wow, that was just a shit entry that just, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It was just shit all around. I've never liked them Spaniard helmets. <laughs> Style over function, man. <laughs> Brutal punishment for committing adultery. The Scarlet Letter, a novel written by Nathaniel Hawthorne, chronicles the story of a Puritan woman whose husband had gone missing. Horror of horrors, she ended up pregnant. Gamer Valine. <laughs> you can read that. Whip duels <laughs> did exist. It's called ca ca Cassie. I have seen Bone Bone Tom Hawk, actually. Off of my Western folder. Um Horror of Horrors, she ended up pregnant. She was thrown in jail where she gave birth. Upon her release, she was forced to wear a scarlet A on her clothing for the rest of her life. She was also shunned by the community. And what other parts of this novel are you going to take as your historical research? Well, I like to think mm -hmm. something like that doesn't happen in reality. Unfortunately, it did. A Puritan woman who cheated on her husband was sentenced to be whipped in public. After enduring a whipping in her own community, she was then taken to town where the adultery took place. Taken to the town where the adultery took place. No, I hate that town. Um, well, there she received a second whipping. <laughs> oh, Jesus. You, that could have been written and it wouldn't have been funny at all. I think that you wrote that for comedic effect. I, and then on the way back, they gave her a third whipping, you know, it's just, <laughs> After enduring a whipping in her own community, she would take a, a, a second whipping. Uh, since that wasn't humiliating enough, she was forced to wear the letters AD on her clothing so that everyone knew she was an adulteress because everybody totally read. Just like in the Scarlet Letter. So the Wikipedia page told me. Women would also be punished by being driven through town in a cart while being whipped. <laughs> Christ, they're this, obsessed with the whips. This is just this guy's fetish, man. We're just reading someone's <laughs> fucking fetish writing. Wouldn't it be cool? Oh, like, a, a Puritan chased woman being whipped in a cart. Yeah. And then when she gets where she's going, she gets whipped. <laughs> you know, <I> didn't... <laughs> Again. But she goes back and she's whipped some more. 
I'm reminded of that fucking Simon Pegg and Patrick Stewart fucking bit where he's just going on about like all oh these God. movies that he's, or like these scenes that he's written. So I'm sitting there in the helicopter and you know the down force is coming and then all the clothes fall off and you know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. well, I can see everything. <laughs> Too much Wonder Woman. It. Exactly. There's always a reason to bind and whip someone in an early Wonder Woman comic. Thank you very much, Dr. Morrison. Uh, women could also be punished for being... Oh, yeah. Uh, some were actually executed for their crime. Notice these punishments were all for women. When a man committed adultery, he was charged with the lesser crime of fornication. Women were charged with the more serious crime of adultery because they were considered to be temptresses. Really? You don't think it had anything to do with endangering the bloodline? Mm-hmm. Pretender to an inheritance? You, you don't think it had anything to do with that? I'm not saying that's a valid reason. I'm just saying, like, you know, it's... Yeah, reasons. Like... Yeah, you, you chalked it up to them being the evil tempstresses. I, really? Chastity belts were a thing for a reason. I, again, not a good idea. I, I'm not a fan of the notion, but still. It's not because... Uh, I don't know. Well, I was going to say it's not because of someone's fetish, but let's face it. Somebody probably did have a fetish and probably does still have a fetish for a chastity belt because people are sick. Oh, oh. probably. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. Chastity belts are absolutely a fetish thing these days. Are they? Yeah, yeah. And cages. <laughs> Listen to Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sam explaining it all to us. Like I've, been, like, I've been in the community for a long time, all right? I've seen some shit. I'm I'm happy being boring when it comes to sex because it's it's not actually boring. It's just not depraved. I it, it, yeah, yeah. It just doesn't involve cages, right? And mm -hmm. chastity belts. And whips. And whips. And leather. Yeah. And yeah. manacles. All right, that's it. <laughs> yeah, okay. And canes. Okay. I feel like I'm watching anime. <laughs> Come on. I, <laughs> all in the name of beauty. You refuse to invent the razor for hundreds of years. <laughs> Don't you fucking stop! <laughs> you wouldn't believe that I were watching the uh, Quick and the Dead last night. There's that uh, this scene where Sharon Stone rushes in to uh, rushes into the hotel and then up the stairs and into the room where uh, what's his nuts, uh, Gladiator guy, Russell Crowe. Yeah. Is uh, is is being held, and she she bursts through the door and, and and starts making out with him, and she's like tearing off all her clothes while she's like kissing him, and he's like, "Whoa, what the hell? Like, where did this all come from? You know what I mean? Because he wasn't expecting it." And I crack this joke like, you know, he's <laughs> he's about to encounter the lack of a razor in the old west." I <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And she, I totally forgot. She ends up going down on him, and Valine's like, "I think it's her that's going to encounter the lack of a razor first. Like, <laughs> <laughs> rug burn. Woohoo! <laughs> they, they, they were sweaty, stinky, hairy times. Let's face it, gross, fucking gross. All right. Uh, what we consider beautiful and fashionable changes greatly with the passage of time. Thanks. In the mid-1400s, high society ladies were considered beautiful if they had high dome-like foreheads and milky white skin. Oh, we're going to have to hear about some device that crushes their skull. In order to accomplish no. this look, they would pluck out the hair at the hairline so that their foreheads looked bigger. Really? Women complain about a five head now. <laughs> If plucking didn't bring the desired results, they would rub the area with a rough stone or burn the hair off with a chemical. They also tended to pluck their eyelashes and most of their eyebrows. Yeah. <laughs> and to this day, Jolita yeah. has continued the tradition. Right? <laughs> <laughs> but unlike in our savage time, they didn't glue synthetic fake eyelashes. <laughs> okay. Uh, sultans were the own su suntans sultans sultana raisins were only for peasant women so the wealthy <laughs> would do everything they could to achieve a pale white complexion cosmetics made of oh here you go far mercury pearl yeah i called it <laughs> mercury pearls silver or eggshells 
and other caustic chemicals would sometimes be used on the face. Others may have used things like white flour, chalk, and white lead powder, which would be mixed Hold with it. olive oil. Yeah. To make the cosmetics As opposed flat. to today. What's that? As opposed to today, where, you know, they take mucus from snails and use that to plump the skin. That's fine. That works. It's fine. Oh, yeah? Care if it works. What about it's fucking Korean gross. Korean foreskins. <laughs> I didn't make that up. I, 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 I know. Okay. I know. Yeah, okay. That's the worst yeah, part. Yeah, that one's not good. To bathe or not to bathe? Oh, that's a great Getty oh. image you got there. That's that's just. Are we getting into the bathing thing, really? Remember, this is uh, ten things that were common in the past that we couldn't imagine now. Yeah. People yeah, not this... bathing. Have you it... ever been to a fucking gaming store? I... <laughs> this is, but this is going to get into something where it's like they didn't the wash the sure wash themselves at all. It's just. Like... Of a bitch it worked for. <laughs> they were all going to be better off dead. <laughs> Gearly, thank you for the nine dollars. Oh fuck, bar. See, that's what I was talking about. I finished the HD version of that. I just didn't upload it. Damn it. All right, well, I'll have it for next time. Uh, Gearly, thank you very much for the nine dollars. When my boyfriend decides to mess with me in voice chat and yells to come give him a handy, I bring him a cell phone. <laughs> he regrets me taking German. Don't kink shame me, bro. I... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> For those not in the know, handy is the slang term for a mobile phone in German. And that's the actual mm. word? Not a, another word that handy. means... Really? Yeah. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> just, it it makes thing. sense. It's just unfortunate, right? A, just... lot of, a lot of people think yeah. of like German as just being this very, very angry language. It's like, no, in the cities, it actually sounds really camp. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mutter, wo ist mein Handy? <laughs> <laughs> oh god that i didn't even think about what you meant by camp i just kind of like let it roll but yeah okay uh -huh. i see what you mean i see what you mean mama wo ist mein handy ich kann nicht das gewinnen oh mein gott wow <laughs> woo winona Uh, Cheshire Smurf. Big name. Thank you for the five bucks. If this goes through, I'll be upset. I spent a few seconds here and there trying to figure out why it wouldn't send to Drunkle. But the three of you, but the three of you I can from one place, but not from my phone as I've. I'm sure that goes on. As I've something, but it cut. If this goes through, you'll be upset. Because you spent a few seconds here and there trying to figure out why it wouldn't send a drunkle. But the three of you, I can from one place. That's a good question. Oh, I, I don't know. I have a friend that can only do um, Streamlabs exclusively from his phone. His laptop will not cooperate. Huh. Has no idea why. He's uploaded browsers, uninstalled and reinstalled browsers. Doesn't make a difference. Something about his laptop Weird. is just like, no. <clears throat> Frankie D in chat says, corsets are more comfortable than bras. Change my mind. I have no insight on this whatsoever. I mean, I could <laughs> see it. Of course it'd be more comfortable being than a thing. Bra. Well, yeah, because all the horror stories you tend to hear about corsets, it's not actually corsets that were the problem. It was people doing a thing called tight lacing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. So that's where you get all the stories of um, people not being able to breathe, or deforming, you know, their internal organs, you know, all that lovely shit. It's because they're pulling the strings too tight, which is why it has the weird reputation it does nowadays. <laughs> yeah. I hear the corsets were actually a cinch to get on. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boo. Yeah, big fucking boo. I just... <laughs> Fuck you. But yeah, the point is though. <laughs> the point is though, is like corsets actually aren't as bad as everyone seems to think they are. I, uh, just putting Lena that Frankie out there. 
Uh, are we talking about like the the, the the bustier type ones? You know, the ones with actual like cups atop the uh, or half cups atop the um, corset. The half cups that top the what? Uh, so 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 the corset itself is is literally just a band that goes about the about the middle right about the waist, uh, with and, none uh, of the, the bustier ass. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Semi cups. Mm -hmm. Well, that mm -hmm. ruins it. I don't have a fetish. What are you talking about? Oh. Okay. There's nothing. It's, <laughs> is it really a fetish if it's if it's like normal? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean. Sam, like, you calling me normal is like that's good. That's good. Yeah, it's crazy. Right. <laughs> Look, it's like for a long time I thought I thought I had a like a a, a fetish for like you know women and uh, and and thigh high stockings, and then it's like no, pretty much everybody likes that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So is it really a fetish? I what I want to so. know is what happened to the, the 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 stockings with the seam down the back. Right. Because there used to be a thing, didn't they, of, like, uh, women would take, like, um, uh, uh, anything, anything that they could get that would be, like, ink, especially during the, during the, the, the World Wars, um, uh, and draw a line up the back of their legs. Yeah. They'd, they'd be using, like, fucking, like, what? fucking stock. Like, because yeah, they, they wanted colored. that line down the back, so they'd yeah. draw it with a magic marker or whatever the fuck if they needed yeah. to. Yeah, and they couldn't get nylons, for example, yeah. My theory, they'd be, not that I know, yeah. but my theory is that um, they just got cheaper and cheaper and thinner and thinner. Like, they're meant to be disposable at a certain point. Whereas mm -hmm. uh, quality stockings that have this seam, that would, pardon the pun, seem to be uh, a thicker material, more quality material, more expensive, not meant to be bought once, worn once, and then thrown away. I mean, how long does a pair Different of pantyhose term. last? A d different fabrication uh, though as well, isn't it? When you consider that, you know, without without the seam up the back, well, they have to be kind of knitted like, well, not knitted, but woven together as one long sock type thing. Tube weave. Mm -hmm. I remember the first time I noticed it, the t-shirt that I was wearing had no seam on either side, and I sat there fascinated for like 10 minutes realizing my t-shirt oh, was made as dude. one big long tube. Dude, I couldn't <laughs> do that. freaked me the fuck out. Yeah. All of my shirts have got seams. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 holy I shit, the one I'm wearing right now, no seams on either side. It's a tube mm. shirt. That's weird. Mm -hmm. Dude. How are you supposed to do the Superman flex burst out of the fucking thing with it if it's got no seams? You'd have to be extra built for that. Well, yeah, if you got, like, you know, the muscles like I have, the fabric stands no chance. It doesn't matter where there's seams. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Some of us are built quite slight, Polly. Mm -hmm. I got, I got to get... I gotta get more built, Polly. That's what it is. <laughs> I, I, I do appreciate how Platty told you, you know, fuck you! Instinctively put it in caps and then was like, oops, caps. No, no, you were right to be in caps. It's fine. <laughs> You're not allowed to swear at me anymore, Platty, ever since you dropped that bomb on my head. <laughs> what fancy Twice. shots has Polly been going to? <laughs> I, I, what, uh, uh, pantyhose shots? Fancy None. Fancy shirt tube shots. Oh, oh, the t-shirts. I thought we were still talking about pantyhose. Um, I don't know. Now he buys his pantyhose online. No, this is a this is, this is a fancy <laughs> shop. This came from the fucking campus bookstore. It's a university T-shirt. There's nothing fancy about it. I bought it off the clearance rack. Fuck. <laughs> Surprise! I'm broke. Uh, <sighs> Bart, remember when we were watching the the mostly '70s commercials and stuff, and kept seeing the ad for the. Uh, the, the pantyhose that were um, in the egg oh, container. Yeah. And it, it yeah. finally dawned on us that the name of the product was, was legs. And it was like an egg. And that's why that fucking yeah. container was shaped like an egg. <laughs> yeah. Le, le egg. Yeah. yeah. Legs. <laughs> and we're like, le oh egg. my God, that can't be it, is it? And it's like, no, it is. They, they fucking. <laughs> yeah, no, it is. It's exactly that. I, I just, L E G G legs. Anti hose. I'm gonna just. Uh, is it, is it, does it still come in? Oh, right? they come in boxes now. No, it now. doesn't. See, but they, no, they sell the same but, text. But, but look at the window where it shows. No, look at the window where oh, it yeah. shows the, it, the, the pantyhose. They're though. still rocking the egg. It's still an egg shape. Yeah. It's um, it's... egg container. Egg. There we go. There they are. Yeah, there we 
go. There's, there it is. God. We thought they looked like a, a roll-on antiperspirant yeah, really, or something. Uh... But it's a kind of surprise. Yeah, they really stuck to the bit. <laughs> yeah. I, 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 and it took us a surprisingly long time to clue the fuck in. And it was like, oh, legs. It's like an egg. I get it. I just... <laughs> That was the commercial uh, break that we were watching when the uh, dietary supplement, the appetite suppressant called AIDS, was having trouble losing <laughs> weight. Yeah. Try AIDS when we finally saw that yeah. commercial. <laughs> Ask yeah. your oh doctor my god! If AIDS just, is yeah, right that for did you. not age yeah. well. Yeah, they, I think they did say a line like that actually. <laughs> I was like, "Holy shit! I've been hearing about these things for years. It's AIDS appetite suppressants." <laughs> <laughs> I never what go anywhere an without my AIDS. product and an unfortunate <laughs> name. It just in hindsight, right? Like what an unfortunate product to have the name AIDS. Yep. And it's it's I I, I remember correctly. It's A Y D S. Like it's not even A I D S. Yeah, yeah. It, it, sheer energy legs, futuristic pantyhose container. I. Ah, yeah. Just oh, make it shiny. God, the, that'll that'll yeah. be futuristic. Now with the 70s miniskirt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, ooh, look. Look at the display. It's a leg stand. Yeah. Got a big egg on top and all sorts of little eggs in the middle. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's just eggs. <laughs> egg. Egg. <laughs> I mean, as marketing goes, it's not the stupidest thing. It's just, I don't no, know. No, it's not. It's just, it's, it, it just, you know, it took a while for us to realize what they were getting at. Does it? How many pantyhose do you get? Just the one? One, I think. Ooh, it comes with a reinforced toe. Ooh. <laughs> well, I mean, to be fair, you, you kind of do want a reinforced toe on those things. Yeah. They, that that is a uh. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. yeah you can, you too uh, can have easily legs. hold that that spot. Holy shit! That thing's clear. Oh, that's sweet. the color of the pantyhose. Oh, that makes so much sense. No, they just put a beetroot in there. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I didn't see it well, deflated sense, like this before. Right? Like, yeah, yeah, it does. That makes sense for a, a product where it's a specific color, right? You'd want to see the the, the color, color of if it. If I'm buying chrome pantyhose, I want to see them. <laughs> as I told my, I, as I I told my wife. <laughs> you don't know? We just decided. This is the color of the pantyhose. Gold chrome. No, I think that one is just a shiny, a shiny container. <laughs> maybe, maybe it's a mystery color. It's it's the literal shiny pantyhose, right? You just you never know. Taupe. The fuck? It's a color, taupe. Well, yeah, but like. How many people are gonna go to the, sh the store and be like, "Yeah, I want taupe pantyhose." <laughs> Shiny pantyhose, uh, gotta you, catch them you... all, right? <laughs> <laughs> Far, have, have you never been in a hot topic before? <laughs> no, we don't have those here. Oh, well, you aren't missing much. I've been dragged around more hot topics than I care to remember. I, I, I don't know what it is, but like, I, I'm hoping that there's some kind of like, um. Like a canned ham. There's like a, a key that you have, and you gotta like turn around the outside. You know, it's <laughs> you don't just pull the cap off the top. There's some kind of opening process. I, I, it's like a little key on the side, and you know you can insert it into the little <laughs> noggin there. Yeah, there's a there's a little the key, tab like, that comes off beef, the side, yeah. and you, yeah, you yeah. start twisting it. And if you it's break like it off, your pantyhose are trapped. It, <laughs> Either that or, you know, you grab the top of the egg and then you twist the, 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 the cylindrical base there and it, you know, like, um, the, the cookies in a, cookies in a tube stuff. What's it called? Uh, fuck. Um. Cookies in a tube. Uh, yeah, it's cookie dough in a tube and, you know, you gotta break the tube and then. Oh, like, right. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it, it's like in a twisted, a twist of paper to hold it in with yeah, metal and they caps explode at the end. If, yeah. Yeah, they explode if you leave them in the back of a car on a hot day. Um. <laughs> You, you don't sound personally experienced with that at all, Sam. That's a good, good cover. No, not at all. No, no, I've, I've seen videos that? on the internet. I like to use them as a euphemism sometimes, you know? <laughs> does, does every set of pantyhose come with, like, a joke at the bottom? I, that'd be nice. 
<laughs> so when you take it out, it's it's an egg. Like a kinder really surprise just, egg. You know? yeah. Exactly. It, it's sitting in there just so it won't roll away on you. Ooh, control top. Keep that gunt in line. Ooh. Oh, my God. Uh, well, that's uh, what it means. Uh, I, uh, I'll be right back. Gunt Far's got to go vomit. I get to. Is where I, yeah. <laughs> be right back, Chet. Just vomiting. <laughs> I, I, I like the idea of a lady with chrome legs. I just did. Yeah. See, that's the cyberpunk future I want. I... Right. <laughs> Either that or, like, you know, like, sheer black with, like, uh, 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 fluorescent fucking, like, blue Tron lines up the side that when, you know, the lights go out or whatever. Oh, nice. They, uh, they continue, yeah, fluorescing. Yeah, uh -huh. good call. Good okay, call. I think I might have just discovered a new fetish. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, oh. <laughs> girls. <laughs> For me. <laughs> Someone's got to have done it right. It's got to be a thing. RGB pantyhose. Oh, God, don't tell the game. Oh, no, 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 no. That's not the kind of seizure I want. <laughs> well, blink in time with your fucking video card. <gasps> fucking, f like, fiber optic up and down the legs. I was actually reading about the um, <sighs> the strip lighting that they used for the Tron Legacy costuming. Mm. Fuck it. Fascinating tech. Really cool. All those costumes really did light up like that. And that shit really is just paper thin. Sweet. Yeah. And that, that guy, justifiably the wardrobe designer, won the Academy Award for that. Beat out people that were dressed like Elizabethans and every other damn thing because he had glowy, cool catsuit people. Nice. <laughs> oh, man. So we're waiting for Far to come back from her uh, um, purging of the gross. Yeah. So, well, while we've got a moment here, Polly, it's, uh, I suppose it's a good time to remind people that, uh, you know, if they like what we do here, they should really consider... Gently caressing that like button. You know? I, 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 you're going to have to do an impression. My stream okay. deck isn't working. <laughs> it needs to be touched. Like the like button. Streamlabs. Nice. There you go. Ooh. Nice. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to go back and like clip that. That's the... <laughs> I'll have two. Like a continental version and an island version. It'll be nice. <laughs> so what sort of timestamps that at? Uh, four, four hours, uh, four hours, nine minutes. Did I say we were going to run a short bar tonight? Yeah, you, you did, so maybe we should finish this bit. list and finish. Yeah. Poor Omega Hunt. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know that poly dub bastard's been using your voice to prove... Polly who? I... Uh, <laughs> let's see. During the Middle Ages, people tended to bathe more frequently than they would in the Renaissance times. But then, for some bizarre reason, physicians started to believe that bathing in water would make you more susceptible to catching diseases, especially because people had been shitting in the public water supply for years. Typhoid Mary. Yeah, you think maybe? Yeah. <laughs> A whole bunch of waterborne illnesses as well as no discrete sewer system? Possible, maybe? <laughs> Yeah, so we all about the Romans and lead pipes, but at least they had fucking working sewer systems. Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. To a point, at least. They knew their shit. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Except their bathing houses. Those were just stagnant water. I could never get oils. used to the, the, the way they... Uh... Okay, I could never get used to public toilets. I don't want to sit beside somebody. Yeah, <laughs> no, that's weird. With no wall yeah. or separation or anything like that. They're just... <laughs> Excuse me. And they're reading the big issue yeah, over yeah. your shoulder. It's just, it's just uncomfortable. Yeah, I mean, you're sitting there reading your rock tablet or whatever. But, well, you'd be unfurling your scroll, wouldn't you? But anyway. Oh, if you were rich. For, for, for everybody else, it'd be wax tablets, wouldn't it? Did Romans did use wax tablets? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah they Roman did? scribes would, uh, would write shit on, on wax tablets, yeah. Yeah, you don't waste good paper on, uh, on you know... <laughs> The, the notes from the meeting. Well, 
I mean, it doesn't, if you're a, the butcher, or the fucking, uh, cobbler or whatever it is you do, you don't, you don't really, I mean, mm. th- who's making notes other than the fucking patricians, right? And they got the money for that right. shit. Sure, sure. That was always, that, that was my assumption, guessing anyway. Okay, anyway. Uh, some also thought that opening up the pores during bathing would allow a person's, quote, vital forces to escape the body. You know what? I don't buy it when they make these guesses. I don't think no, people's, and... it's the, 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 the stupid old shamanistic ancestors of ours. I just don't buy it. It's, it's like how any depiction of any image of anything is interpreted to be, oh, that's a fertility symbol. Like, you know a really a... good video um, that actually kind of goes over a bit of the bathing thing? Uh, a video by Bernadette Banner. Where she actually gets a person who actually, you know, knows her shit about historical hygiene practices and actually goes over yeah so they might not have actually bathed but they were still washing themselves like they all it was was just it was essentially a sponge bath that's okay. essentially what they were doing like uh, it's not as if they were actually dirty yeah exactly exactly like that's exactly what these people were doing and like all the underclothes that they were wearing like the linen underclothes there's an actual yeah thing with the, the specific material of them that kind of does help you stay more clean than you would think well one of the um one what of the things like, i learned it, uh bernadette ban i think that's her name but like she got an actual person on right that actually like knew her stuff like actual scholar person i think she was like she'd written a book about the whole thing right mm-hmm. and yeah like it's it actually made a lot more sense than just going, oh yeah, they never bathed, haha, they're always dirty. Like, the stuff that she was describing of like, no, they actually did this, this, and this, and you can see it in, um, in modern day, to an extent, like, you go to some places, I think in the Eastern Europe, right? Where, like, yeah. they still have, like, the wash basins. They just, I don't know if they use them as frequently or not, but, like, they still have them there. Well, I mean, soaps have... I mean, we've we've got we've got traces of soaps being produced in fucking you know ancient Egypt and all that kind of thing. So it's it's not like everybody was just running around dirty. I mean, I'm not talking like you know exclusively in the tombs of pharaohs. I'm talking like you know poor people. Poor people would wash with soap. Um, yeah. One of the ones got me was uh, like uh, this, this this notion of like oh oh they used to they used to use, they used to use piss to wash their clothes and it's kind of like yeah technically I suppose. But it, it, only in the same sense that they would, you know, treat animal hides with, with, with piss. Yeah, like they would piss in barrels and then they'd leave that to, you know, mature, shall we say, over time to, uh, you know, crack down into basically ammonia. And then they would, you know, yeah, wash it's, clothes it's in like that. It's like distilling nitre from urine for gunpowder. Exactly. It's not why waste it. I, yeah, I hear you. Exactly. So, so they would use that, and then they would take, then they would, you know, carefully take the clothes, usually wrapped up in in skins to prevent the stench for, of the ammonia from, you know, gassing people out. And then they would take them to a nearby fast flowing stream, and you know, rinse, rinse them, and you know, rinse them and slap them, and rinse them and slap them several times over until all the ammonia was washed out. <laughs> that, that is a truly overwhelming smell to me. Ammonia. Oh yeah. Oh it, yeah. It, it's like um, turpentine. There's. Whew. It's Ooh, Terps, Terps gives you that heady, that um, heady high, huh? Y- yeah, it's it's just those are two things I just cannot handle, man. It's just oh, um, okay. Of course, people during the Renaissance still wanted to be clean and presentable, especially in high society. Some would use hand basins in their homes where they could cleanse their hands and faces with water throughout the day. Others would sprinkle their clothing with heavy perfumes, and some would use scented towels that would be rubbed over the face and the body. But last, uh, but last but not least, the key to cleanliness seemed to lie in frequently changing one's linen undergarments. I... So they go okay. So they did go over a little bit, but even then, that's a. That's more of a, oh yeah, and they did this too, sort of deal, right? Of like, oh yeah, you know, they they just didn't bathe, which is the sin of what's going on here. There's Cheshire Smurf. Thank you, Cheshire Smurf, for the five bucks. Frog! I was trying to think of something pertinent, substantial, but, well, fuck me, I'm on a lot of recreational drugs, asshole. 
<laughs> yeah, lucky bastard. <laughs> and number one, excessive and deadly childbirth. Oh, that's a charming picture. Oh, wow. Yeah. Ugh. Uh, a married woman's biggest duty was to produce children during the Renaissance period. Even though many women died in childbirth, the infant mortality rate was high. She would have gotten pregnant over and over again during her lifetime. As you can imagine, childbirth was the leading cause of death in young women. Well, yeah, it wouldn't be organ failure. I, as you can imagine, childbirth was, oh yeah, it, it's not unusual for one woman to give birth uh, 8 to 12 times. Okay. Some as many as 20 or more. The sheer volume of birth. No. Well, that's, no. Just, that's just Catholic that's Europe. <laughs> <laughs> Without which, I should not be here. <laughs> I mean, I, it, remember, this is Jamie. It's like, where are you getting that from? Yeah. Uh, I rolled some dice, came up with the numbers. The sheer volume of he births would, would great, uh, greatly uh, up the odds of problems arising or even death. The midwives who assisted in these births were educated only by women of previous generations. They were able to handle everything from regular births to turning the baby if it was breached to doing an emergency baptism if it looked like the baby might not survive and also remove stillborn babies from the mothers. Ah, that's sad. Who could perform cesareans to save babies if the mothers passed during labor. I kind of... I kind of resent that, that, that the sort of the midwives who assisted in these births were educated only by the women of previous generations. Well, as, as opposed to the local the, hog butcher? I... No, right. This is the thing. It's like, like uh, so much of, of modern medicine comes from, you know, the men and women of the previous generations. That's kind of how we learn things as a species. <laughs> well, not even just that, but it implies that, like, oh, yeah, they're just backwards, like, backwards people you know they, yes. they're they not yeah. like yes. oh yeah they're not educated they're not this other so they don't know their shit and it's like they obviously did like yeah okay. the the whole yeah okay so there was a lot of infant mortality rates and women dying giving birth sure but that's more of a lacking in modern medicine thing than a oh yeah these people sucked at their job thing yeah. Because obviously they didn't suck at their job if there was enough people surviving for right. us to all exist I mean, today. Exactly. Fuck it, we're here. <laughs> it's just, I, I'm, not be, I'm not being funny, but Yahweh wasn't exactly sending down weekly instructionals, you know? It's like, where, where, where <laughs> yeah. do you think we were going to get it from? <laughs> yeah. It's, hey, it's everybody, like, welcome these... to Yahweh.com. <laughs> <laughs> but it's also from these same women, though, and, like, people in general, like, these people that just, they weren't educated in the sense of they didn't go to a university or any kind of schooling, probably, besides being taught the same things, like, generations upon generations. That they were taught. Um, well, that's for the university. Yeah, lunch, like, but... <laughs> yeah, but no, but you get what I mean. Like, it's these people, right? Where do you think we got fr like fucking painkillers from? It's willow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. It's fucking willow bark, <laughs> and these people were using that for generations. Willow water. Until someone was went, like, oh, the old standby, wow, man. Yeah. yeah. Well, this we actually has from. a medical value. Yes, it exactly. Is, yeah. And it's like, like, these people just, it's just a different age. You know, it's just a different, it's, it's, it's not like they're that far removed from us. Like, just put a modern day person in that time period. You know? <laughs> What the fuck do you think they're gonna do? I, I, I hear you, and that's that was the frustration that I was like talking about earlier. Is that, <clears throat> yeah, there's advancement and so on, but there's a, um, I don't know, an edge of smugness that comes to talking about anything from prior to 1940. Like, you know, I mean, it's a good thing no, we're in 42. No, absolutely. Like, it's just oh, those stupid old people. They didn't. It's a, but it, 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 it but they the, weren't. The, the linear progression that's assumed is also something I find frustrating. It's a, it, it can be demonstrated in the idea that people thought the world was flat is a thoroughly debunked idea. People began in certain circles to think the world was flat again around the early 1800s. And it was only in Protestant circles that it happened. It was, it was, and it wasn't all of Protestantism either. It, it, it 
of course it had to, it happened in America and we're very good at promotion in the U S and so yeah, the idea spread far and wide and it's like, Oh, well, since the beginning of time, people thought the world was flat. And it's like, no, they, it, well, they really it in, in ancient Rome, they, they knew the world was round <laughs> and for throughout the, the middle ages, middle medieval times, they all knew the world was round. You can see it in paintings. You can see it. The, the list goes on and on and on. Very debunked idea, but still people hold on to it. Our, our stupid uh, forebearers, man. And it's like, well, they really weren't that fucking stupid. They were limited in technology. Yeah, but it doesn't mean yeah, they didn't, like have they just didn't have means to cure pain. They didn't have means to do things. No, no they, they, they did. And I find the... I don't know, maybe, maybe it's... And it, It'd be too easy to chalk it up to. It's just like that on the internet. No, books read the same way. The internet is just a, a stupider, simplified version of what you read in books that have come out where a, a lot of assumptions about how... Yeah. The, the, the gormless yeah. ancestor model. The gormless ancestor model just doesn't hold water. It doesn't. Thank you, Cheshire. Sorry, it took me. So I'm just like staring blankly at this, like just for a second. Like, okay. Uh, thank you, Cheshire Smurf, for the five dollars. F you, Polly. F you, Sam. F you all, and fuck your education over the generations and generations of these people using willow bark. Far willow bark works. Stop hating on healthcare knowledge. Not requiring taxes or insurance. What? <laughs> See, that's why I kind of like just blanked out for a second <laughs> <laughs> like, read it, like when I'm like looking at that like what Valim says uh, this dude has a useless degree and is writing out of his inferi inferiority complex by bashing those without a piece of paper proving how much they read <laughs> <laughs> true this, that's a funny idea somebody deliberately lying about people out of spite <laughs> <laughs> Jamie Freighter. I, I was like, see, who is this guy? Jamie, uh, Jamie founded Listverse. He's the founder of it. Yes, he oh my him. God. He's been a guest speaker on numerous radio and, uh, excuse me, numerous national radio and television stations and is a well, so five time published <laughs> author. Wow. Just set the world on fire there, Jamie. I don't oh God! Want to set the world on. Sorry, it's a, I, you're a five-time <laughs> published author. I. What did he write? What 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 are the books? I'd what has he written on? That's what I mean. Have you been to Amazon in the past ten years with all the self-published crap that's there? It's not really the prestigious claim that it used to be, you know. Ah, uh, I mean, not to hate on self-publishing or anything like that, because I mean, yeah, it makes it easier if you want to write a book, put it out there, but. Yeah, it's not really prestigious to be like, yeah, I wrote a book. I wrote five books. Yeah, publishing credentials. You can find them on Amazon. The, the credentialism of, of this is like, you know, it's 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 very much a precursor to the, to the whole, well, this is a peer-reviewed study kind of bullshit that we see today, right? Yeah. Uh, it's uh, like, yeah but... Peer-reviewed study means something as like, which journal? Right. Because remember, yeah. Feminist Glaciology was published in a peer-reviewed journal. It's just a journal that nobody reads and the people that were the editors of are nobodies. And nobody ever cited anything from it ever. That I mean, how could you? It's pap. <laughs> yeah. But that is why it, it's there's impact. <laughs> pap. <laughs> pap. <laughs> That's why journals no have in, impact ratings from one it's a number from one to five. It's Oh, based on the font. What's that? <laughs> based on the font in this case. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. God damn it. You know, I don't mind a capture. I mind them when Isn't... I run into them every few seconds. I feel like they're constantly calling me a fraud. Isn't this mm. for the part like the login thing, Polly? What? Oh, okay. no, never mind. What happened to his face? Chat, like, what the oh, fuck are you guys talking well, that, about? Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's, yeah, that's, that's Fallout. That's, uh, that's, that's, that's the ghoul, uh, the ghoul from Fallout. <laughs> what, what the fuck, guys? What the fuck? That's Fraser, Polly, not Fraser. Yeah, yeah, you've typed in Fraser. 
no, 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 no. It <laughs> auto corrected. I'm not an idiot. I. <laughs> this is okay. This is what we're looking at. I. <laughs> It, I, I, oh. let, 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 let's just see. I'm going to paste again. No, see? It auto-corrected. Fuck you guys, man. See, I, I typed in freighter. Oh, my God. That's oh, beautiful. Search instead that's for James fucking Freighter. beautiful. It, his book oh, is it's list verse. verse. <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? Here's Vale Look he, at Valine. Oh, my fucking oh God. He's a postgraduate fucking in fucking music. I, 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 You're still right. a Kiwi proving his degree is fucking. Good. Wait, is he actually. Is he from New Zealand? What makes you say that? No, he's a stellar Kiwi proving his degree is fucking useless. Ah. Is that an insult or is that actually like he's actually. <laughs> he's. Oh my god. Let's see if there's a bio. He's... Or... Yeah. <sighs> he's from Lower Hut, New Zealand. <laughs> Low. I'm sorry. What? Lo lower hut. Lower hut. Okay, sheep fucker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love oh, that there's a plug, man. and it's like H U T T, like you know, Jabba. You know, the large desert slug gangsters. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh my god, he studied in London. The Royal College of Music in London. I call bullshit oh debunking God. the most commonly what? Made lists? The, the most com commonly. Oh, but you repeated yeah, them you're, in you're... your fucking lists. The irony. Look Dude. at that fucking look at look fucking at that fucking Christ. cover page though. Is that not list verse? Is that not it exactly the style of writing is. that we were just looking at? Yeah. What are, what are the reviews? What are the fucking reviews on this shit? Well, look at the. Okay, what, okay, uh, actually, what are the claims? Yeah, I, Your heart stops when you sneeze. Yeah. Crime increases during a full moon. A goldfish's memory lasts only a few seconds. Dumb shit that stupid people say. It was illegal to drink say. alcohol during... What? Yeah, it was illegal to... No, it wasn't illegal to drink it. It was illegal to have it in a whole bunch of different places and to distribute it or produce it. But yeah. uh, there was all sorts of That's... different ways you could uh, have it if you were... Uh, uh, yeah, if a, like a you priest a or a rabbi, you could have a fuck ton of it, and unsurprisingly, a whole lot of people got ordained. I... Huh. Yeah, shocking. It's, 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 I mean, it's like here, it's like, you know, smoking pot's not illegal. Possessing it above a certain quantity, that's illegal. Facts and not fake news. Oh, that's great. This that's book has an great. interesting cover. I read it and liked some parts of it. It has many interesting facts and fun to read. It is three stars. Thank you, Shushan. Yeah. I like the pictures. <laughs> <laughs> Disappointed. First of all, I'm a great fan of Listverse, proving I am, in fact, an oh. idiot. This book has been on my wish list since I first heard it was coming out. That's sad. The two other oh, Listverse dude. books are wonderful. This book, however, tells us nothing we did not know and was nothing like what I had come to expect. Please bring back the top ten lists eagerly waiting. Wow, what a sad little life you live, Janet. Well, Janet Silica, if you want to catch the top ten lists, make sure you tune into Noir Bar every week on a Friday night. <laughs> right? But we rip it apart. Yeah. <laughs> Where the point is our commentary <laughs> and the, 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 the wonderful audience that we have that hangs out with us for it. <laughs> Not oh, your shit, Judith there. Content. I'm sorry, Judith? <laughs> But, but, the, but, one of the reviews was like by Judith and it was one star. Get your, get your donation first, though. Uh, Game of Lean, thank you for the 350. Uh, this guy found a degree that is less profitable than gender studies. At least the gender morons can be lawyers. He can blow a mean flute. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. <laughs> I bet he does. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, I picture people that are... Um, Graduate studies in music must be like people that are into musical composition and are going to go on to be composers for yes. um, all sorts of stuff, whether it be for commercial yeah, for angles or music scores or uh, for 
Hans Zimmer to take the credit of, yeah. Right, right. Or being part of the huge writing teams that make up orchestral pieces for philharmonics or whatever. And then there's these guys who are just riding it out in a holding pattern, as we say. Musicologists. Yeah. As the, uh, as the, I believe the term. He plays a mean kazoo and check out his triangle. I, let's see. As with other reviewers, I'm a fan of list first books. Why? I've both, uh, I've read Why? both. Why? <laughs> I don't, I don't understand. It's, it's like, you know, the website's just there and it's. It... Yeah, you don't need to buy the book. You can they get want the it same in physical content. Copy. They, they want you a physical copy of it. You, you, you appreciate can, look, the value. Printers exist! Printers <laughs> exist! If you want a physical copy of this shit, just print it off! <laughs> <laughs> Don't pay this man money! Well, far. Why not just, you know, grab all your games from perfectly online legitimate sources and then, like, burn CDs? That's fucking different and you know it. <laughs> <laughs> this is stuff I read... Um, all the time uh, issues with the EPUB version of it or the Kindle version of it mm -hmm. is that people just don't bother to try when they're doing self-publication or their publishing house just knows that they're fuck you you need us a hell of a lot more and we need you we're not paying somebody to go over your Kindle to make sure that it's formatted properly and doesn't have repeat pages and etc I mean, the amount of them that don't have, and I have them, but I got them from perfectly legitimate sources online. But anyway, uh, the table of contents will not be clickable to be able to go to that page. So you have no choice but to oh. just scroll, 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 scroll by like, running your finger repeatedly up your tablet. You know what I mean? Or your, your laptop, just scrolling with your scroll wheel on your mouse or whatever the fuck. To, that sucks. It's like you could not even bother to hyperlink from your fucking table of contents. What is the point in an ebook then? I could flip a physical book much, much, faster. much faster. I... You've managed to take, uh, you know, a matter of convenience, which is to say a reader tablet, and make it less convenient than things that are literally thousands of years old. <laughs> right? I, they even put the numbers of the pages in the corner so you can flip them with ease. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Like Far said, I think it's... Uh... Time to be moseying on, especially because, uh, well, I'm fucking hungry as hell. I haven't eaten since uh, lunch. Mostly because yeah, I'm poor. Go eat. Yeah, no shit. I just want him to write a piece Donate to Polly's food fund. John won't be held in high regard, Beethoven and Mozart. I. No, he won't. John Williams. He, uh. John Williams is a. Uh... He's a, he's, a, he's a really good composer, but, you know, after a while, when you start repeating the same music over and over again, it's time to call it a career, especially when people that are not composers, do not play musical instruments, can point out how similar your compositions are. Just your average moviegoer, it's like, why does the Indiana Jones theme sound so much like the Star Wars theme? Yeah, that kind of thing. <laughs> you, you said Hans Zimmer. Sam, did you ever get around to listening to the Crimson Tide score? Uh, yeah, I did. You, you sent it to me and I listened to it then, yeah. Did you? What did you think? Yeah. I don't remember what I thought at the time I left. <laughs> well, that, so, that, uh, Holly, it's been a rough two weeks, man. Give me a break. <laughs> yeah, I, it, like far as I say, yeah, it was some kind of impact. It's worth listening to because it's like synthesizer isn't everybody's cup of tea. So if you don't like the sound of it, yeah, the whole thing's going to grate on you. It would be like, music produced entirely on a didgeridoo. Like, it's, well, it, it hates <laughs> <sound. laughs> yeah. yeah. If that sound just bugs you, well, it's just going to drive you crazy. But it's the first entirely, uh, in, nothing but synthesizer produced score. And I say that being a big fan of the, the score of uh, Blade Runner in all of its various forms and editions. Uh, Vangelis, it's not exclusively synthesizer, even though it is largely. There's all sorts of, there's wind chimes and all sorts of other crazy shit. He's, uh, that guy's a alchemist as much as he is a musician. <laughs> I've never been told to shut up so nicely. I... <laughs> <laughs> Alan, thank you for the $10, who simply says, Fode. 
I, all right, all right. Go listen to Hans mm. Zimmer's score for 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 Crimson Tide. It's great. It's the last time that I think Hans Zimmer actually produced the entire thing himself, as opposed to bringing people on and taking credit for it as the guy who owned the studio. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm, uh, thank you very much, Alan. It's greatly appreciated. Um, it's times like this I wish there was a Taco Bell close by because I'd go get some Taco Bell. How many tacos I could get with $10? Three. Three. Thanks, Biden. <laughs> oh, God, I saw the advert for the, you know, the beef sandwiches used to get like five for five bucks. Mm -hmm. Now it's four for ten. It's not even meat or cheese or bread. I. It's all just lies. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you put enough oh. sauce on it, you don't taste the lies. <laughs> I like doing diplomacy with Mexico. Okay. 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 <laughs> time, time to end it. <laughs> time to wrap up. We're going. He's getting his food. Yeah, wrap it up like a taco. <laughs> And that does bring us to the end of Last Call here in Noir Bar, live from the Shays District of Noir City. I'd like to thank everyone for coming out tonight for our own little brand of 1940 booze-fueled booze, booze -fueled banter. There. You got it. Thank you. I'd well, like to thank Far and Sam for keeping me company. And here in the uh, uh, Godfather room, as Far calls it. <laughs> hey, that wasn't me. <laughs> that wasn't me <laughs> but thank you as always uh it's it's it's, it's, it's i missed it i'm just saying out with you guys oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. thanks for having us man it's good to be back absolutely and everybody in chat before we go live believe it or not we actually do like look at like oh look look who's here so and so's here cool we got the the, the regulars are showing up it's like a bar <laughs> mm -hmm. and finally i'd like to thank all the very generous people that's you chat who tipped the bartender that's me and my two friends here, because that's how we keep the fires burning and the candles alight and the fucking cops paid off those corrupt bastards. Sam, far. <laughs> thank you. So. Yes. What? Just if you want to say thank you to the people, that's all. Yeah, I, oh, I said thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It is very appreciated. Mm. Oh, fuck yeah, it is. I mean, you guys don't need to do that, and you do, and that's what makes you fucking awesome. Uh, okay. Okay, yeah, there it is. Okay, so, uh, yeah, it will be a little bit more organized for next week, like I was showing you some of the things we're going to have, and... Yeah, it'll be good. I should tweet about them. Actually, use X. I used to do that. I don't anymore. Hmm. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, have a good night, everybody, and as we always say about this time, you don't got to go home, but you do got to get the hell out of here. Have a good night, everybody. See you again next time. <laughs> good night! <Bye>. Welcome to Yatu. <clears throat> Hold on, it's one of these what? buttons. I don't know. Yadu? I don't know what that is. What is that? Yatube. <laughs> Weekly emissions oh. from Yahweh. <laughs> Are you still on that? I... It's like... Yeah, what the fuck? Chessire Smurf right before I hit the button. Thanks for the dollar. Yay, LSD. Look, you're having a rough you're... night of it, bro. <laughs> I can seriously. Yeah, I'm holy I... shit. Whew. Remember, cold water on your face and, and keep it calm, man. The walls really aren't breathing. It's fine. You'll be okay. <laughs> See you again, y'all. <laughs>